Mm. Welcome to the Old School RuneScape Podcast. I am Mitt Mad Cow. What's going on, boys? Rex, as always. Hello, it's Rex Cup again. So, Who's introducing right. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even talk about this. I'll introduce Solar Mission. <laughs> we so. don't gotta introduce this, man. <laughs> I know. We probably should. No, but we just probably avoid. should. Hey, Official member. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something now, which is very interesting. So before we we start this podcast, I actually looked up how many times you've been on here. You this is your ninth time, ninth really? time on the podcast, bro. Are you are you um, gonna are you gonna join us or make your own podcast or something, bro? Yeah, and I'm, and I'm still not getting a split. Where's my split, guys? <laughs> 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 There's no split. We haven't even made. We haven't even gotten any money from this. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've never made money from this ever. Not, Wait, not a penny. Solo. Wonder your tenth time, bro. You get a free sandwich. So. Oh my god, that's incredible. There you go, man. We got you. <laughs> Clap. You know. Oh, wow. uh, but today we're going to be talking about the Dead Man Mode Apocalypse. Before we get into it, Solo has a very awesome like goal. What do you, what do you oh, got for God. us, brother? <laughs> um, so if we hit 750 likes, that means that all these three boys here will buy some posters and artwork for me so I can finally decorate <laughs> my room. And that's, a, that's a very worthy, uh, that's a very worthy we... like goal right there. Should we yeah. make a poster, by the way? I, I feel like I'm a little inspired from the Chronicles and them making stuff. I feel like we could like uh, hire yeah. an artist, get like a nice little post poster going. I don't know, and then we could put oh, it right could. in the background of solos. Mm, yes. Yeah, we we definitely could. Yeah, yeah, we could we could get yeah. that done. Well, just like just honestly, like, uh... we just make it for solo. That's fine. Just free yeah, promotions, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. only for him. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll, fi we'll figure out. So I just want likes, I just want guys. like a. I want a massive thing of Rixie on the door right now. Just a giant Rixie. <laughs> it's one of these. My favorite streamer. Yeah. What do you have clothes on? Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Well, we can we can figure something out. Okay, we'll merch you up, mate. We'll get you there. But how have you yeah. been? What have you been up to, Solo Mission? I've been very good. I have just been doing one-off videos recently. I today I was actually recording. Well, no, not today. I've been editing a video, which is coming out probably around the time of this podcast where. I'm doing RuneScape's longest tank test, where I survive at bosses for a long time. So, yesterday, oh, yesterday I sat and I killed Zora for six hours straight. And uh, yeah, Jeez. you were just in there for wow. six hours. Any peak? <laughs> yeah. Dear God, bro! So, like the whole time. Yeah, go check that out if you haven't checked that already. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Because your boys out here suffered for content. This man's so. like, yeah. he's got like a little fucking magic eight ball just shaking it like, what content should I make today? That, that's certainly a <laughs> one okay. Honestly, if it does well, he's probably going to tank, I don't know, Bandos for six hours, you know? We'll see, we'll see. What we'll should see. he tank next? Leave it down below, brother. There you go, we'll catch it. And it can't be these nuts, okay? All right, anyways. You could, you could. <laughs> so, Dead Mode Apocalypse, Old School RuneScape tweeted a teaser, didn't even... So we had the Winter Summit, which had the roadmap, which shows it right there. And Dead Man Mode was not on that roadmap. They sneak tweeted this, uh, and it got like 2,000 likes. And then they finally put out a blog. And we've all read the blog pretty much. So we're going to go really deeply in this blog. They they did a lot of things that they did in old Dead Man Modes, and they brought it back, which is really cool. But uh, should we just kind of start? Yeah, yeah, man. Lots to talk about, potentially. Okay. <clears throat> Do you want me to go into it? <laughs> he wants to read, guys. <laughs> Wait, I'm I, I, I remember I it all. This recently, so I should go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, let me just pop it up because I can't remember what it starts with here. Oh, oh, okay. it starts with have, final hour. I, I love how Rachel just hour. silently scrolls there, like someone's gonna take yeah, a part. Dude, of hey, listen, man. I'm I'm production. <laughs> I'm the one recording. I'm the one that, that's controlling. I'm the producer. Okay. You're the talent, okay? So yeah, man, I got you, brother. I got you. Okay, they who, talk who, about the final hour. Somebody, the somebody final. who's familiar with a blog post, would you be able to explain I got you, I got you. the gist so, of what this Dead Man Mode Apocalypse is? Dead Man Mode Apocalypse the starts out. The blog literally starts with the newest thing in this Dead Man Mode that's never been done before, and kind of why they call it Apocalypse. There's apparently going to be breaches, and what they call time and space in RuneScape or Gillenor, where random mobs will breach out and just kind of sit there i guess attack and thing. i don't know if they actually attack. i think they just sit there i don't i don't really think they do anything but just sit there and you got to go and kill them and uh, you will get a lot of cool rewards they spawn in singles they spawn in multi you get tons of rewards you get you get points uh they drop i believe crates that have i mean we'll get into later but that's the newest thing with dead man mode is the breaches and honestly what do you guys feel about these breaches do you like 
them heading in this direction. Uh, just to clarify, is this during the final hour only? No, all the whole time. The, whole, the whole time, bro. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. So, Because I, I thought it was <clears throat> final hour only I, with I, the gas. I quite like it. I think it's the closest thing we've ever had to having world bosses. Um, I'll be really interested to see how this this pans out because... You know, I like the idea of it being in multi and in singles, obviously, like multi clans can easily camp that down, but you know, the ones that are in singles are gonna be interesting. It, it's a never done thing before, so at the very least I think it you know, it at least throws a, a little bit of a curveball in there and changes things up. For sure. Solo, what do you what do you think about these breaches, man? Yeah, I, re I really like it. It creates that sort of um, food chain effect where you have the grass, the, the cows chomping on the grass, and then the wolf is eating that. I love that you brought just, up like, the food chain, out. bro. Because that's what the wilderness <laughs> is, right? You got, you got the food else. chain, bro. You got the, the, the <laughs> monsters and the bots and the solo PKers and the multi PKers and the huge teams. And now they're kind of bringing that gist in the dead end mode where they're creating this food chain, which I believe to be the best way to create PvP content. You got the hunters, the hunt hunties, and is there is there another one? I don't think so. That's it. <laughs> the hunties. Hunties, <laughs> bro. <laughs> make a word up, bro. <laughs> this sounds good. Oh, oh god. So I mean, that's well, I, that's the main big difference, right? You go ahead, man. Yeah. No, there's, I think there's they, plenty more. There's plenty more. Let's stay on this one for now, though. But I think they're going to be ex existing Runescape bosses, so it'll be interesting to see which ones they actually bring out because. Obviously, God War sort of stuff can work, but would there be something like a Hunleth? Because there's not going to be any like light up floor, I wouldn't imagine. Because a lot of bosses now they rely on the environment that they're in, right? So I wouldn't. I wonder which ones we're actually going to see. I, I think they these could. Breaches. They could literally just port the bosses and just not have the area effects. Yeah, because you know? <laughs> so a Hunleth can operate on its own. That's true. Would, you know, that like, true. The disco floors would be like the real challenge, right? Oh my um, god! Can you can you imagine if like it spawns tornadoes for everybody? Yeah, <laughs> that'd be crazy. Just it around like that. They they would probably have to adjust some codes, you know, if they want to make it more uh, diabolical, you know. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, I was thinking this is like a de uh, what do you call it? They used to do a PVM cup, right, where PVMers would like just fight bosses that constantly spawn, and whoever kills them fastest would like win but like it's kind of like they just ported that idea into the demon mode <laughs> real bad idea <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. so yeah. My, my, i guess my my thing is like like during the final hour you know towards the end of the competition is it just going to be like right you're going to constantly be fighting people and the bosses so it actually shows too? it right. um here at the final breaches will appear all over the place and monsters will wash over gillen or fog will slowly creep in and force players to the finale so you're going to fight players, bosses, until you're the last person standing. And uh, we're, we haven't covered it yet, but there's going to be bracketed worlds. So you're going to have like a 1 yeah. through 50 world where you have like breaches coming in. You got Obi Maulers and Rune Crawl. I don't know how that's going to work. I think, but, uh, I think it's going to be, be interesting, fun to watch. right? It's going to be really interesting because like you could see like maybe a PVM or just win because he just knows how, how to make the boss work, you know, to his uh, yeah. liking, right? More. So that, that could Tom, be interesting. could you click on that picture too? Let's take a, let's take a gander here. You want a bigger? There we go. CSI, yeah, soon bro. Then, please. So yeah. first off, let's look at the gear. Got the most unrealistic gear on these guys, <laughs> like usual. Deep wood. Well, not deep wilderness. It's about like four wild right there in multi. But they're fighting four KBDs and a Dagonoff Rex. I think fine, they even uh, yeah. hinted at Bandos and Jad. Which Jad? Can you imagine Jad? Just not. What if you don't have prayers on like a one through fifty world and you just walk towards like a Jad accidentally? So, <laughs> like dude, you're dead. When they do this, I really hope they make it so, it, like, with these bosses that spawn, they make it so that they can just like PJ. So like, you could be in a fight and then all of a, su a sudden you could just get hit by like a fucking a fire breath from like KBD. I think that would make it way more interesting because otherwise. You could effectively just like box your friend as they're trying to attack you and get away with it. So they should give these no, guys. Yeah, they're they're gonna do that. Micro. It's gonna it's gonna work. You know how the re re uh, revenant maledictus works in rev caves. It's gonna work like that in single. Oh. I'm pretty sure. And then yeah, multi is an issue. Right? Yeah, yeah. For like the oh, bosses, it's just multi for them. It doesn't matter, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, there's 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 breach. There are breaches in multi combat and in single combat, and I th I think possibly simultaneously. I'm not sure. So it's, it incentivizes the clans to go fight over the multi one, 
and then the yeah. so solo PKs and solo PVMers go and kill the single ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, but it's yeah. it, you know why not? This is the thing with like Denma mode. Whenever they bring out these temporary game modes that are only on for a few weeks or a month or whatever, why not experiment? You know, this could be wildly successful. It might not be, but we won't know unless they try it, right? Um, yeah. I think one of the quite interesting things about this is that they're also going to be introducing blighted weaponry alongside these. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, these will be the only events that are able to drop the blighted weapons. Is that correct? Maybe. I'll give you a maybe on that one. I'm, I'm yeah, not sure. I think that's unconfirmed. It's but unconfirmed. It's... Okay. Yeah. But they, definitely it's heavily implied, the, they definitely dropped the crates, I think. So you will get mm -hmm. blighted weaponry from breaches. They really want to reward you for going out and uh, doing these events. And they also kind of give it... I mean, it's nice to have... Does Deadman Mode even have lore? This kind of feels like they're giving lore <laughs> to <laughs> Deadman Mode, right? I don't think Deadman Mode is just like, here's just beat the hell out of each other. Now it's like, okay, <laughs> team or kill each other and fight against uh, breaches. And they say the Doom Slayer believes there will be a time where these breaches burst into being all across Gilinor with absolutely no sign of stopping. With annihil annihilation seeming inevitable, it's up to you to do everything in your power to go down to history books. Lore, look at that. Do you know what they should do? You know what they should do? They like should make legends. it so that those those um <laughs> monsters that spawn in can spawn in anywhere. Like you could literally have Jad spawning just outside of the Grand Exchange, and then it would also kind of counteract <laughs> people trying to mule. kill it people. Yeah, yeah, why not? It's you know, just fireballs just like, launching into the Grand Exchange, bro. bro you're, you're, you're just like buying something. The coffer page is opened up, and you just hear like a poof, poof noise, and you're like, "What happened?" And you just die. You're like, "Yo, I'm yeah. buying something right now." Like, and then you would just see, you just see like everybody who's muling. All of the loot would just be all over the Grand Exchange floor, and everyone would be like running to get it. I think that would be cool. Yeah, actually, that sounds like a cool idea at the end, like towards the end, you know. So like people can't just be like at the bank as yeah. as uh as much or something that'd be interesting like so you I see the gradual like but happen more in safe safer areas too that'd be cool yeah so blighted weapons we could definitely cover cover them but there is so much to cover before that i mean yeah yeah let's let's go let's yep. just go top to bottom man <laughs> they pretty much pieced parts of dead man mode that we liked from previous dead man modes and combined them with a whole new well obviously the breaches and that's kind of what we are um seeing and it shows that they're getting rid of the 1v1 scenario for now. They may bring that back in the future if people want it. Um, let me scroll down a little bit here. But then yeah. it goes, let, let me see, are bracket you on worlds, the right? combat bracket worlds, XP yeah. multipliers, starter packs, and quest unlocks? So there, we had, a, was that last MMO mode where there were bracketed worlds? Was that the last one we played? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. So there were four bracketed worlds. This time we're going to have five and we'll get into the combat brackets. The XP multipliers do go up in the higher combat worlds, but then they kind of stall out at like 15x. And then the starter packs on those worlds are different. But I mean, it goes up to like an adamant scimitar. So it's not like it's giving you the whole, yeah, really go into this world. And if you die, here's an adamant scimitar. You're you be having a bad time. And then, of course, they brought back the quest unlocks, which I think everyone... Who who wants to quest ever? Yeah. Me. Oh, dude, dude, <laughs> yeah, dude. I know. That's why you're, like, rank one every dead man mode. Man. You just, after, this, after this post came out, Mission Solo uploaded a video where, for the first time ever, I've never seen a Mission Solo video where he didn't say yes to everything and i was like damn oh, i was like is this guy okay true. and i messaged solo mission and he then proceeded to basically rage <laughs> for half an hour about how bad this was bro so go ahead let us know, let us know how you feel about this dude so right okay so let's 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 break it down into the different parts the combat bracket worlds i don't like the combat bracket worlds because all the worlds end up becoming dead and it ends up being way too many worlds. And I, I think this is a problem last dead man. I, I just went to, I, I, I don't normally PK on dead man, right? But sometimes I do. I went to PK, but I couldn't find anybody anywhere because there were like 80 people playing per world. And it's just not really a dangerous MMO experience at that point. So like outside of the absolute like main location, you'd find people. I, at a bank, which is quite boring. Um, I just didn't think it. I don't think it provides the most enjoyable experience, really. I, I, I and but uh, sorry. 
And to have five, <laughs> Sorry, to, have, to, to have five combat brackets, it just exacerbates that problem more. Last time there were four combat brackets, and I already thought that was too much. So I, I hope they bring it down to three com combat brackets, if not just scrap the whole idea. To be honest, I agree with you, D. About... In, in that sense, that like combat bracketed worlds do give people kind of a safety cushion against those god tier PKers, clans, and max gear. But at the same time, five, five. Mm. There's no so, way those are going to be accurate. There, I think there's a good middle ground, right? It's like, so how long is the, the season for? How long is this for? I think it's about th three three weeks or a month, roughly. Hey, did, they, did they give the when time does it you? Use, when does it usually die down, right? Like the player base, right? Two weeks. Day like three. a week, bro. <laughs> day, yeah, yeah, I mean, day three, okay. there's a sun drop, and then there's dead. Sun okay. drop, week it, one, I, dead, I think week it two. It really depends a lot of the time on how... I think a lot of what makes them undead is it feeling dead. And when there's 100 people in a world, it feels really dead. And that, that encourages people to quit. And also the swap rates have a massive impact on it as well. Yeah, like imagine in your mind, for those who don't play Dead Man Mode, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking to the audience here, everyone here is sweaty. Uh, imagine you want to go and enjoy something, but the world only has maybe a couple people, and those couple people have bought their gold they're max. They know how to PK, and they will destroy you on every bracketed world. And that's pretty much what Deadman Mode evolves into. The saying Deadman uh, Mode, it literally is trying to kill the game. That's why it only lasts a month. Just all these people drop. No one wants to play. It's not full of noobs. Noobs so, keep game modes alive. I think there's a there's a solution for that, right? It's like maybe after like a week, they can just delete some worlds, you know? And just yeah, they the never brackets. they never do it. Well, you would still have the though. brackets. <laughs> you would they still have the brackets. And um, even then, it's like you're forcing the people that are playing. It's like, oh, now I got to fight for my training spot. And I'm already far behind. I'm working. And then you got that person that doesn't work, shits in a bucket, uh, has a clan. You know, it's like you don't want to compete with that guy and, ever, ever. And now you have one world to go train. He's going to come find you. Yeah. Right? I guess it, my question would be, what's what's a what's a worse, right? What's worse, not finding people or individuals have, you know, having a hard, uh, preferring to stay in like their own little brackets so that so that they can train easier or something like what's a bigger problem right because obviously um if it's just feeling dead and uh people can't find people to kill then they should probably just shrink the worlds right after like a week or something yeah, they, they should and they never do it fast enough for some reason so hopefully the this problem, time around yeah. they do um but I, I, I kind of agree with you what you're saying, Solo. Like I think that this might be a bit excessive with the amount of, you know, uh what's it called, like splitting people Bracketing, up like combats. Yeah. I think maybe having free combat brackets would be better. But what I will argue is like this is intended to try and stop, you know, level threes to level fifties from just getting one shot by somebody who's level 126, which it does do right now the main downside I is just feel that. <laughs> at, at the end of the day i think that like the other half of what you've said which is you know it kills off the the player base and such i think that that's kind of unrelated to this i think this just makes it look more abundant because each world will have less players and it's like the the few players left are spread out more but I, I mean, what could they do alternatively? Alternatively, they could make it so that everybody of any combat is in the same worlds, except from there's like, a, you know, like in the wilderness, it's like you can only attack somebody between this level and this level. They could do that, but then you would still run into the problem of, you know, well, there aren't going to be people that you can attack because the player base dwindles after a few days, and eventually, I, I guess at least if you're in a combat bracket world, you know that every white dot you come across, you can actually attack or be attacked by. But I, I don't know. See, see, yeah, man, I think you guys so, think so... this game's gonna die, but you get an adamant scimitar, all right, on you know from this crate. That's <laughs> yeah. pretty sick. Seventy one to ninety combo. You get some myth arrows, a maple short bow. Who doesn't want to reset with those sweet, yeah. sweet items, dude? I don't know. Maybe it's I mean, they, they can't. They can't make it. They can't make it that good. The reset items, otherwise, people know, would just I continually know. die and farm it. But to reply to your point before, Tom, it's. I think my main problem with it is that you can say that oh, people will have an easier time in the lower brackets, like only marginally. Like last time, people were going around one hitting each other with status warhammers in the lowest bracket. So. Is oh, there yeah. that much difference between getting one hit by that and one hit by a one two six? I don't really I mean, see that there's I, I feel like it's more likely to happen if they're all in the same world. Like sure, I know what you're saying for sure. There are gonna be dudes that are running around with like warhammers and one shotting people, of course. And even Flames of Zami can do that in the low combat bracket. But 
it's less likely to happen than if all of the combats can attack each other, right? That's because, true. You know, it, it kind of does help a little bit with that issue. <clears throat> but I, I would be fine yeah. with either. I don't mind if they put people in separate worlds or keep them in the same and then just, like, separate who can attack who. Um, but I think that it kind of just exagger exaggerates how much the, the game mode does die. Because it does. God, this is so negative, mm. but like, let's be honest, right? Any demo mode world existing where somebody can be in max running around within the first two days, it's just like, there's something, the game mode's gonna die, right? The only trouble with that is, is like, if you try to remove people from being able to get that far ahead, how do you do that without completely destroying what demo mode is? And like people always say, oh, I'll make it Iron Man and this and that, but then it just completely defeats the purpose of Deadman mode. I feel like something that you said in your video, which was really good, was we kind of just have to accept that this is what it is. Like it is, you know, an end game yeah. event effectively. Like you're going to die. It is unfair. And you just kind of have to get on with it. It really yeah, is so that's, survival that's, of the fittest, right? Yeah, every time there's only a couple of thousand people that play it. A lot of people watch it and get excited for that, it, but it is just a cutthroat game mode. You can attack anyone anywhere. Mm -hmm. So I would prefer it if it was catered to the people that actually played it rather than the people that say they're going to play it and never do actually play it. <laughs> it's yeah, my main week, frustration, Espe goes. especially because especially we've waited over two years for this. It just yeah. feels a bit like we're trying to appeal to an audience that never ends up logging into Deadman because it's just too brutal for them past three days. Well, the, so here's the thing. I think that what they're probably trying to do is try to get, because initially in the first few days is hype. There's so many people mm. playing. Like imagine like the first like six hours. The first six hours is like the fresh economy. People log in and play that even, even if they're planning on fully quitting afterwards. I think they're trying to like long gate those players playing. And to be honest with you, the way that they've, kind of proposed this i think that there's gonna be a few differences this dead my mode compared to the previous ones so if you expand on these combat brackets as you can see here these are all of the unlocks that you automa automatically get once you hop into the next bracket and something we discussed was at level 70 combat um i believe it's level 70 you yep, uh probably what you're thinking of you complete the song of the elves which is like that's crazy. which is i, I for me, no. I think that's I think that's ridiculous Auto because complete. you ru you ruin the fresh economy because you all of a sudden don't have people jumping around the pyramid anymore because the rates crash because everyone's doing corruptly gauntlet up yes. for three hours. A hundred percent, one hundred percent. But but but, it, but I, dude, I think <laughs> that there is a reason for that, and I'm hoping I'm right. I'm hoping <laughs> I'm I'm hoping that I'm right because if there's not, then yeah, it's very stupid to just do that. But I feel like because they're opening up, like. They're basically opening the floodgate for GP to just come pouring into the game. And everybody can do it with very little risk. If you're not doing Corrupted Gauntlet in this demo mode, then your plan sucks. I'm not going to lie, because this is just going to be the meta for getting GP. Can you get killed at Corrupted Gauntlet, by the way? No. I heard there's like a... No, that that part is safe then when you're doing it. No, well, well when you when it's you complete when you compl when you complete the gauntlet and spawn outside to get your loot, then yeah, you can be killed in there. But it's so really it's, it's super okay. yeah, it's super easy to escape though because the um, the portals that you go in and out of are completely disgusting to PK because <laughs> your whole screen goes blue and then it comes away and you can just spam that and the whole screen goes blue and black. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Okay. But I right. PK there in Dev mode. It's disgusting. So, <laughs> no, one, no one dies there. To get back <laughs> onto my theory here. So I believe that there's a slightly different approach behind this. I think that they're trying to effectively get the economy booming in the first few hours. And then I, I have a hunch that there's going to be a lot of attention given to these these events that are happening throughout the game where these bosses are spawning in, etc. And I don't know. I, I feel like it would make sense in some ways if they're gonna be putting a lot of time and energy into this and they're gonna be making this like this is the main part of Devma mode now. And it's just like we want to get people to enjoy that and experience it as soon as possible. Because this is like the hype thing. But whether or not it actually gets executed in a good way I don't know. I get that. I think I think that's a really fair point that anyone can just go to like Gauntlet or whatever decent money maker that is accessible because of questing being all unlocked, and therefore they can go and do that for a little bit, buy a set on the G, then go out to the bosses again, die again, repeat. Is that what you're kind of saying? Yeah. So it like it incentivizes that loop. The only thing I think is that when 
pe- mm. people quit once they die and they, the whole bank gets wiped and all their stuff gets wiped and they're like, well, back to my own man. Yeah. <laughs> but but the difference oh, the know. difference this time is is that you I basically have few... you have a free you get a free get out of jail free card. Which is like, okay, I've just lost my one mil set. I'm just gonna go do Gauntlet for twenty minutes and get it back. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like it could be a completely different experience, this dead man thing. Yeah. But at the same time, like corrupted gauntlet is quite a high level thing to do stuff like that it's not do you know what i mean the people who are doing that are like the ones which have like a decent idea of what they're going to do when they die in the in an older more brutal death man i would feel yeah mm-hmm. i don't know there is there is merit to what you're saying absolutely i agree i i guess i have a few things to mention right so like the thing with the bracket of worlds they did explain why they 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 want to split up more because they said that in the previous mode uh, people like high, way higher level people were taking advantage of like low, the lower level players, even though it was within the bracket, right? Because the bracket was too wide last time, and they thought that was like a, I don't know, I don't know if it's true, but that's what they're saying here is that they thought it was like a serious problem, uh, feedback wise. So they they want to you know narrow the gap more, so that way it's more fair fights. But um, also also the part about the questing thing being free. I think it really does cater to a more casual player base overall, right? Just because, like, I feel like with a lot of these uh, game modes where XP is accelerated, a lot, a lot of times people want to just try it out because they know that they can't do this content in the normal game because, like, they're too busy, lazy, whatever, right? They're just like, oh, wow, this is cool. This mode is going to let me just, like, you know, get to uh, 75 in, like, one hour because accelerated rates. And then they're going to do the quest for me for free. And then I get to try all this content effectively kind of like for free so i think that's maybe a big part of what they're trying to do it's just it's just to like you said long gate that's an interesting term but like they want they just want more casual people to like uh just take advantage of the mode a bit more right so maybe they'll stay a little bit longer regardless of if it's more dangerous it's just the fact that now you can access way more of the content that they otherwise would have never been able to at the cost of like getting pk but hey at least they get to try out the content right and I guess my th- uh, my third thing about it is that they're ch- they're doing so many different things in this one at once that I feel like there's going to be a lot of crazy unintended like consequences, right? We can only predict yeah. so far, but I I guess that's what makes it exciting is the chaos, right? There's going to be so much chaos, like literally from the first few hours, like with the economy, right? And then mm. of course towards the end of the finals, where like what if a PVMer literally just wins, right? Because he literally knows how to manipulate the boss to just kill his opponent or something right that yeah things like that. Just, I, I, hey. I feel like the winner the winner of dead man um apocalypse <laughs> will be the bosses right so so i guess the pro I, is that, no illusion. Right, the pro is that there's so much chaos in the economy and in and, and the way oh the God. fights are gonna go and and the and the cons is that it might piss people off because like you said what if literally the bosses just kill everybody and that might be hilarious but then like the people competing they might be like bro I, like is this a real competition this is like a tr- like what if they just like bro what if I, people just find it like it's a joke right and they're mad about it or something we'll I, see i just right. have an insane idea imagine this for the final so, like imagine the final arena for demo moon apocalypse and there's like i don't know there could be like two jads or three jads oh, and then there could be a zuck <laughs> And there's like a wall that's moving, and then the battlefield is where players are, and you have oh, to like they give bring them a Zug, dude. bro. You, you know, you'd have to turn on entity hider from all the players oh. to stay with the shield. Bro. And the people are like yeah. freezing you as the shield goes by, and you just get annihilated. Dude, what I'm wondering is, so cool. with the brackets, dude, do the monsters scale with the brackets, or is the one through fifty gonna have to like man up and fight some god tier bosses? You know. I, I feel like the finale for the one through fifty bracket is going to be very fun to watch if it does not scale and they're just up against. Wait, wait all of so these are the one are the finals just for different brackets? Or yeah, so the, like the um, yeah the the final will happen all at the same time on five different brackets all at the same time. So there'll be the one through fifty, like Min said. Mm. Wait, how are they like, going to commentate the, the... that? <laughs> yeah, I actually, like... I actually don't. I, I'm not even okay. sure if they're going to stream it. To be honest, I don't like oh, this is okay. not. This dead man isn't designed at all to be competitive. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think yeah. it's just, Still. I think it's just a, I think it's a fun little thing to close out the. They should the three stream weeks. it though. Okay. Can you imagine, dude? Just like I think maybe they will observing the breaches and seeing all these noobs die in the fog. And, God, yeah. I really. I mean, I, I would, it. I would love it if they did 
one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour, yes. a five hour yeah. stream. Yeah. So yeah. then, yeah. Yeah. so then I could play five volts or like play everyone. <laughs> oh, I know you would. <laughs> I know you would. <laughs> to be fair, they're doing the whole poison gas thing, so it's gonna go by quick, right? Like each of it's not gonna be like five hours like last time just doing you know 1v1s and 1v1s and what you know what i mean so i feel like they could totally just schedule it just go off uh every hour right per per bracket and stream how, how do you guys feel about that fog by the way do you guys still enjoy the fog mechanics because i know a lot of people kind of are a little iffy on fog i don't think they really have a choice oh. though unless they yeah. were, unless they replace the fog with literal like armies of jad so it's like yes attack that's on what i was thinking finale, instead kind of, of you know can you imagine Yo, that i i think That'd they should sick. do that instead they should just Luke's is just on the corner just flicking beautifully yeah. bro never die but, like you could just find like a one by one spot i'm just sitting or something i don't know Yo, this yeah. think about it this way right attack and titan you just have these bosses that you essentially basically you, you like impossible to kill they're just gonna keep like creeping closer and closer and surrounding like it should be court beast because it has the yeah stomp. yeah and and then you're just screwed right you have to go to the middle right to the center or whatever what it if is. the ground was on fire bro and the fire just kept spreading and if you were on the that, fire did a bit fog, of damage though, isn't it it's just yeah, yeah but fog, right? you wouldn't you <laughs> wouldn't have to fuck see all that like gross fog and it would just sure, you, sure. it would still be doable in my yeah. my opinion, I, I do I do think fog would be better if it had clear visual indicators, like Mint mm -hmm. saying, like some flames yeah. on the floor, or even Zora true, clouds true. just gradually encroaching because the yeah. slight haze, your screen turns, and then it's not there's the some text goes from green yeah. to red, and like, oh, I just got one hit. What the okay, hell? Okay, I agree. I think I think, <laughs> I think, I think the so biggest much. I think the biggest thing is the visuals, right? Like the visuals yeah. of what encloses you. It's booty, right? It's been booty. They need to fix that. I agree. I think Whatever I think it's it probably too much effort to do that though. Yeah, uh, yeah so, I, I suppose. While, the problem. while we're on the topic of the finale, I think it's worth noting that they have completely scrapped the previous prize pool, where it would be people were earning, you know, if they came first, like a good chunk of cash. Do you remember what oh, the good. the num what what was the biggest prize that they gave out? Was it like fifteen thousand USD or was it more? You mean for... to a single person? Yeah, to a single person. Twenty. Was it twenty thousand to one reason. person? I don't yeah, know it was, it was 20, last time 20, I was like... 20,000, 10,000, 2,000, 2,000, okay. oh. 134. So, this time around, oh. they've completely scrapped that, and they've effectively made it so, I believe, the biggest prize More that community, anybody can right? get More community. is $500. Now, I, I, I heard somebody in my Discord who uh, brought this up and basically said, this kind of seems like a... Um, participation prize to people. And, you know, I think that's a, a fair point, but at the same time, I would say that... Where you have large sums of money, like 20,000 USD on the lines, it often becomes a little shady and complicated, where it attracts people that are willing to cheat for that money, that are willing to, you know, whether it's auto-clicking, using clients, DDoSing, etc. And I, I kind of actually agree with this, 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 this prize pool that they're doing here. Because, you know, if, if the most you can win is $500, it's like people are probably less likely to be willing to do all of that shady stuff in order to win, right? And at the end of the day, not many people play Deadman mode with the intention of winning the money. Like, let, let's be honest, not many people do. I know there are clans that do specifically, but like, hey man, I don't really give a shit about the clans. I know solo missions are part of uh, Blazers. Part of the reason why a little bit upset about the Monkey Madness Two tunnels, I get it. We can talk about that, <laughs> but 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 there has to be at least something, right? And the clans are going to hate me for saying that, but like I think this is good. I think it desensitizes is bad behavior. I feel and, like um, clans be excited about it this. It is too. what it is. No, I don't think I they, they're just. I don't just because like imagine being again. a clan. Yeah. And then imagine having to trust some dude that you, sometimes there's trust. Sometimes these clans have trust and sometimes it's just some dude. All right. It's just that guy who wins and he has 20 grand now and he just click gone. Right. Or you divvy it up. Sadly, it is fi like we're going to get into the $500, $500 cash prize here. So we're doing points now. So you get points in Dem Emma. We didn't cover that yet. Kind of like leagues. And they're doing Dragon, Rune, Adamant, and then Top 25. And five of those people get $500? That annoys me. I know I'm not going to be Top 25, but if you're Top 25 in Deadman Mode, give them a car each or something, you know? Like, a thousand bucks each. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude, 20 grand split up like this is pathetic, in my opinion, bro. Maybe it's, <laughs> if it's their first go around, they're like, if this works, we'll bring it back next time. Because splitting up that reward, beautiful. Great idea. Splitting up 20 grand? 
No, that's ass, dude. I can't be the only one to think that's just the most minuscule. Like, can you imagine? Like, are you gonna watch that twenty thousand dollar tournament? No, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna yes. watch that shit at all, bro. I think, I, yeah, go on. I think I think there's too much. So the twenty five k is split up. It's five k is for like, uh, well, maybe not even that. Like, I think is it maybe five k is for the 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 best of the best. But and it's then still five hundred dollars. And then and then twenty k is allocated to the lottery. I think that's too much of a swing towards this like lottery participation type thing which i which i think is a good is a good incentive and hopefully it keeps people playing longer with the point system etc but i think that people should be more rewarded for surviving longest at the end of a dead mode mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. that that's like the whole thing of a dead man like if you come if you're the if you're the like the second guy to go down last you get nothing in the current system i think that's a big shame yeah. personally yeah i think, I, I think maybe, maybe the top maybe the top five people to survive per world get 500 each or something like that which yeah, i don't think anyone's going to be ddosing each other over to be honest like, you never know but yeah it's the top five <laughs> well, they people probably survive. will but you know <laughs> and then it's the top five people in the brackets that do the most to breaches but they still only get 500 dollars. and then of course the top five from the top 25 right. that's ridiculous so, so let's, yeah, let's i agree let's, though let's be frank here the, all right, you go for there, it. There's a conversation that's happened at Jagex, which is every single time there's been a demo mode tournament, it has ended in fucking disaster. There are DDoSers. <laughs> there are literally like fights yeah. where there's just some dude in Max that doesn't eat food while getting killed, and it looks terrible. <sighs> now, I guarantee you, at some point in time, those JMods sat down and had a discussion which was along the lines of, okay, do we think that the big prize money, taking that away and splitting it up, is going to detract? from people wanting to play Deadman mode. And I can guarantee the answer they came to was no, okay? Which is why this has been implemented, because clearly it's to try and stop that from happening. And now, like, let's be honest, if there's some dude that just ends up dying really fast and he doesn't eat his food, it's like, oh, he missed out on $500. It's not like the dude missed out on 10 grand or like 20 grand. And it's like, what a fucking joke, you know? Like, this is a lot more easy to swallow. Right, if that kind of thing happens, yeah. and well, I, I, I agree think, with solo. I, I don't think there's a lot they can do, bro. Like unless that unless they control a dead man mode under their roof, where it's literally like everybody who's participating is on the same server. There's no, it's out of their hands. No, like, I, I I agree. I agree. Like the, this this finale is still likely to face connect connection issues because people just like to do it for fun, right? Yeah. Uh, it's not. I don't think it's ever really a specific clan ddosing the worlds. I mean, for the past couple, it's just people who like to watch the world burn and yeah. fuck things up. <laughs> no, I mean, there's, there's um, some some wild ones in the in the room. Yeah, community. It's, just, it's just it's just people who want it to turn it into a shit show because it's more fun for them to watch and whatever. Right. But, but I, like I do. People... But yeah, yeah go for I think it, I right. me, and, me and Mint are on the same page. I I'm happy with there being a lottery participation system. But I'm not happy with it being an 80-20 split towards the lottery. I'd, ra- I'd rather there was it was more 50-50. 50 for performance, 50 for the lottery. Um, even even if that 50 is then split up into a small amount for like the top ten, like like say the top five people remaining get 500 each. That's not. I don't think that's going to cause the bad actor problems of the past. Okay. So, right. so I, think it's, I think it's I think it's a bit more there's, like there's for sure a bad actor problem and that lottery thing. It's like cool, they're getting money, but if you perform and you put on a show, you should get something. Maybe even like an invitation, like if you're top twenty five, top person who survives in the bracketed world, maybe you get an invitation to a tournament with a bigger school where you can fight PvP and it, they host it and they fly you. But the thing, it feels like Jagex. They're hosting these events, but they're not thinking big enough. They're just thinking in the realm of how can we please a small audience and they'll have fun and we move on to the next one instead of how could we actually set a stage to where people could get excited outside of RuneScape to watch this. No one's getting excited for 20,000 split up like this. It's, they even say it's a massive prize pool. It's not massive. It's disgusting. They could open it up to a community prize pool. They could add a GP prize where people add. Make it exciting, right? Make it exciting. Like, let's look at the 100 billion GP uh, kickstream tournament that's being hosted by Odeblock. That's exciting. 100 bill? That's not even RuneScape. That's people in the community putting together a better prize pool than Jagex in a in a dead man mode. That's sad, dude. That is completely sad, bro. So I mean, if they gave them a little okay. something to compete for, maybe a tournament, or they said next time is a test run, next time we'll have a 200k prize pool, 300k prize pool, and even a me that's still 
like small compared to League of Legends and Fortnite, any other esport, and it just makes it look pathetic. I, how do people get hyped if you're outside of the community? So I not, guess not the 20K. I, I, I guess think, I think what you said is yeah. interesting, and I I will say um you know it's a really good example you make there of like the hundred bill Oda block tournament versus dead man mode now there is one thing that i'd like to point out and that is that if they completely remove all of the prize money from dead man mode people are still going to play it whereas if they remove the prize pool from that tournament nobody's really going to care right so the point is is that there's a lot of organic interest in dead man mode regardless of the prize money if you're if you're unhappy with the way that it's getting split it is what it is not really i like the splitting it's just that I also agree. That's why I'm saying they they make it for us. They don't make it for outside the community. That's the thing. Do we want events that attract people from outside of RuneScape, or do we, do we just want to keep ourselves happy? Right? Sure. All right. This this is going to keep us happy. I'm going to be happy about I think, it. The price pool doesn't affect me at all. I'm not going to be a top 25. I'll make a nice series. We're all going to have fun. But you know, I'm not going to watch another tournament outside of RuneScape that's not exciting or has a price pool. It's just you know, I'm not going to watch an Overwatch I, I think tournament this... for 20k. I don't give a shit. I think this, so that's where uh, I'm coming from. I think this demo it's more of like a testing ground because I hope so. you know they're just more like they, they, they probably it probably took them a, a lot of convincing like by a specific you know by a few passionate PvP J mods to get this even going and that's probably why this price pool is so small right because like you said splitting is nice it's just the overall pool is so small and I think the whole point is for them it's like it's not really about the prize it's just about creating a demo mode in 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 the 2020s right that like a new age right where people can enjoy it first yeah i think that's what they're trying to do right because like the I way think... they set it up right it's very community like um what do you call it inclusive right like yeah. unlocking quests for free uh more uh, more brackets so that you don't get jumped by a high level person as much and it's also like bosses that you can fight I, bro, and that's like a big part of it that 100%. kind of thing right? I, I mean listen yeah. min i think that at the end of the day they've not done a demo mode now in two years i don't think that they're trying to apply to you know a massive audience of people that have never played runescape before i don't think that's the intention with this at all i think they're just trying to get the wheels back on this thing and it is worth mentioning as well if this demo mode it falls through and it's just an absolute garbage fest it will probably be the last so, Deadman mode. I would so, imagine. Like another three years. Trust, another two trust years. me, dude. I they, am excited for this Deadman mode. I am glad they're giving it another round. But when I see something, I'm going to critique it just because we're openly talking. I'm yeah, still yeah, pumped. Yeah. I'm glad they're doing it. I saw them tweet about it. I'm like, yes, let's go. But I will say, dude, nothing is exciting. And it's not just this tournament. It's every tournament, bro. That's the thing. That's why I bring it up. It's every time. It's 20 to 30K tops. 20 to 30K tops. You know what I mean? No, it's I, like I agree. I agree. Kind of sad, that dude. Like look I, at I, me, I think, bro. Yeah, they, they, the, the thing, the thing is, Jax don't want to host a competitive scene. They're actively right, going right. away from that, and it's, it's yeah. like part of the strategy because the more prize money you give out, the more you turn it into a genuine competition, the more problems. And so they are just they are just going for that fun, like fun and friendly approach to it. And I think that is the best approach because whenever they stray from that, it always ends in terrible ruin yeah. really yeah, <laughs> from, guess... from the past examples for sure i just i, I, uh, I hope know, in I... the future they they try to tend towards esport ish competitive style because i feel like they're, in the they're, future they're definitely never gonna do that <laughs> i i know i just it's in my mind i'm like yeah that's how games compete in the future it's like if you build your game around an esport or a tournament like, you're you're gonna be set league of legends everything they make is gonna be based around a tournament every new game Right, it's Valorant, bro. Overwatch, Fortnite. These games are here to last, even if you don't like them. RuneScape's going to stay because the community's amazing. But I would love to see like these people because they're such passionate content creators, they're such great gamers, they're skilled, people. they're sweaty people in this community that could become an esports star if RuneScape let them. And uh, I don't know. I could see a future for it, but I do agree. It doesn't seem like they're going for that future, sadly. Yeah, I mean, like the, the truth is, right? Like. The truth is, when when it comes to running like an MMO and stuff, right? I think I think Jagex is one has been one of the best companies when it comes to keeping it alive and flourishing, right? It's like it's like a economy. I don't even know if I'm using the term right. It's more of like an economy of scale. Sometimes, like imagine if RuneScape just had like ten times the players, you you wouldn't even know how many more problems they would have 
you know trying to manage something like that right i think we're at a at a point where as an mmo we have like a very stable player base like a very stable like cycle of seasonal people's coming in i mean you know leaving and stuff like you know always having a consistent player base that is big enough and robust enough to support a consistent you know long-term like survival of this game right and i think that's what they're i think that's kind of like what jack gets realized that's like this is you know what we have now is good you know and yeah. And maybe they don't really need necessarily to expose, you know, to a bigger community by being a big esport kind of thing. I feel like the MMO dynamic doesn't obviously easily fit, um, you know, a, a PvP like a, you know esport scene, right? I feel like if they were to do an esport scene, they would literally have to revamp, almost make a new game, right? Where it's like essentially you are doing everything match based right like they do stuff like for example right if you're talking about league of legends it's not like league of legends has like a rpg you know uh campaign right that you do you just the whole point of playing that game is (laughs) the whole point of the game is you load in you queue up and you fight other people right or you fight like a bots that is basically you're still queuing up and fighting people and same with valorant it's just you're queuing up to fight people all the time well, it's they built it around RuneScape. there, right? And I feel like yeah, with RuneScape, I, I, I agree with you it's guys tough. are saying, and we got the DDoSing, and we got the bad actors, but I remember the 1v1, 5v5, 20v20, bro. That shit alone could have become an eSport, bro. You'd have teams, you'd have bigger teams, you had the solo events, bro, the commentators. It was amazing. And then when they go into, like, the, what are they, what is the Discord sounding like? And you just have these people screaming on the mics, attack him, attack him, DDoS, DDoS. That was fantastic, dude. So I definitely see that there's a possibility of a future there, but they're definitely not going for it. So to me, I, I see I think, it, but they're not growing it. I think they they're would not need to, to. I think they would need to fundamentally almost create almost a different RuneScape. You know, to I, really I still make think the one v one five v five is dope. The the thing is, I just like, you go for it. Sorry, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so polite. I think I think the thing is they they don't they don't. They don't want to be responsible for a competitive scene, and that's completely yeah, fine. Right. Yeah, it's a big yeah, people, But to, I, I think it's unfair to say that they're doing nothing because if people pitch good enough events to them, I think they tend to back them. Like the uh, the battle yeah. royale, you just get battle royale, the speedrun cup, that sort of stuff. They they want to. I think Jax. Part of the reason I think they made the PvP arena is because they wanted more of these community led events, but. No one in the community, well, not no one in the community, but like very few people in the community actually put together a solid pitch and idea and then want to run and organize the whole back in- end because either they don't have the, um, the what's the word? They, they, planning, they, 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 don't, they don't have the pull to get like enough people involved or the, or so, so it's easier for EVscape, right? Because he already has a platform so he can get a budget because he knows that he can get these creators on board, etc. So a random person, it's going to be hard for them to do that. Uh, you're just kind of sort of trusting. And then creators don't want to, creators don't want to be the people to put the create events together because it's not, it doesn't feel like it's worth their time. That, that, I don't know. People just don't. People just don't. I mean, I'm, I'm writing something at the moment to, pit, to potentially pitch to Jagex to, to run an event like this. But... Other, like it. everyone it's just sick, seems man. to seems to not want to, but I, I think there is there are opportunities for people to work with Jagex for competitive things. That's why but I'm so Jagex, confused. Jagex are never going to do it yeah. themselves. They will support your pitch. Yeah. I mean, there's so much. Or if, if you've got the numbers, there's so much potential. You know what I mean? Like you got a soup series. You get there's so much potential. That's why it's like I'm so confused. It's like you have this awesome potential, but they're just kind of not realizing it. But they're not not realizing it because they're still giving people room to try and uh, make these I, I, I think, think they, i think it's very yeah go ahead Rixie. I'll i, go I ahead. was gonna yeah. say i think they realize the potential i i just think that they've also realized that they don't have to do it to continue having a successful game everything they're doing is going well like outside yeah, in of fact that. in fact you could argue the less they've done of this shit the better the game's been doing it's sad but I it's true it's, i think it's become i think it's become a abundantly clear not just in runescape but just in the in the whole you know online sphere of gaming is that running esports organizations and like trying to set up like you know these multi-million dollar like events with sponsors and stuff it is not easy like i think i think a lot of these esport organizations you know the people that run these events for all these other you could say more popular mainstream games they're failing right now you know because 
even they don't really understand how the how the fuck they're supposed to do this stuff long term. Really, only like what like League of Legends and like maybe CS:GO. I feel like they're they're like probably only the two two franchises that can really hold that type of thing long term. And I think I think I'm sure Jagex, you know, they probably have those um you know researches right those surveys that can tell them that like what how how viable is it for them to try to you know go that route when and when all they see is data suggesting that it's not really probably going to work long term for them right and 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 i think they know they know that and they probably also know that like you you know mission said there's a lot of community driven stuff that works really well right consistently mm-hmm. from, and that's unique to us so i think for them it's like oh right, based on the data it's just no go, you know? And then based on what we see with the community and the creator lead stuff, this seems very prosperous, right? They don't have to spend a whole lot of money on them. And the, and the creators can just kind of lead the way. And and for them, it's like, wow, why not just do that? And I think that's literally what it's come down to, you know? I, I want to make a prediction, that. boys. So. I believe the next two years, RuneScape will have something Ford-esque. Not an eSport, but something slightly like that that is semi-successful because it feels like they're not going for it, but there's so many people in the community that are, right? That it's almost an eventuality yeah, in It's my more mind. of a grassroots thing, you yeah. know? For yeah, us. it is, right? It's different. So it's unique, you know? It's I can kind of see it building. I kind of, it's just, it's, the motions are turning, bro, and eventually we're going to have something like that. And then it, it, I don't know what it's going to look like. It might be a whole new game mode. It might be proposed by Solo Mission over here. You never know. But it's going to, I feel like something's going to happen in the next couple of years, dude. And hopefully the price pool will be bigger than twenty thousand dollars, <laughs> but we will find out. Maybe, maybe, maybe if there's third party interest, um, a third yeah. party takes it on. But I can't see Jagex doing it because it's well, too much the hustle. And they're a, they're already, a game studio. What if it's already built in the community? Like, what if like Soup goes out of his way to become that third party? Right? What if uh, what what's the sponsors? Yeah, that's what, yeah, okay. what if that guy's the third okay. party and he creates? That's what I'm feeling like. It's someone's gonna do it. It's there, and when something's there in RuneScape. People are hungry, bro, and they jump fast. So I, eventually, something may happen. So I'm just putting a prediction out. Next two years, we might have something esports in RuneScape. Uh, if not, I'm wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I just feel like we can't really do that traditional way of of going about kind of like you know growing competitiveness. Failing. Right? It, it's yeah. okay. It's and it's okay because honestly, like like I said, man, not even multi like literally corporate backed organizations most of them literally fail you know so well remember so, gaming is a know. growing industry and esports is a growing industry so it's not like sports where they've been there and they're tried and true and yeah, tested yeah. it's growing but yeah, you can see the growth guess, throughout the guess, years and see I guess where a good it's going. way to i guess a good way to put it is that the form that we thought was the peak form of like you know this type of esport it's not it's like an unstable form right i feel like there's still a lot of refinement like you said but i feel like for jagex um yeah they just gotta do a different way right and maybe maybe content led um you know competitive stuff events is probably the way to go for them you know so far it's been working you know it's been working well so and yeah i feel like why not right for them it's like why not just keep doing that back the creators that host these events and keep 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 that going see where it it seems like back the creators that's what rings gives you back these creators that make really cool stuff and they will do everything for you yeah man i wish jagex fucking paid us bro what are they? Oh. What are they? Pass oh. man. God Give damn. me a shirt. <laughs> right, they're giving. Well, maybe, maybe, world, maybe you right? could, maybe you could pitch them an event and take an admin fee of. Oh, <laughs> oh. Bro, t-shirt, please. I, oh man, I, I know what solo missions event is by the way, and I like it, and I think that it would yeah. work. But um, you know, it's one of those things like demo mode is almost just a fan service for the PKs of the yeah, game, it really is. right? Now, like, I like Dead Man Mode, sure. I think it's fun for however many days it lasts for. But, like, I personally would rather see permanent games inside of the actual game itself. Like, mini games popping up. Well, you're going to bring up your little uh, (laughs) Dead Man Mode. uh, This guy's using the the podcast as an opportunity (laughs) to pitch his idea, bro. Oh, it's always this idea where it's, uh, like, it's like Tarkov. He spawns right. somewhere. It's like, dude, dude. I, the, I, the, I my cool. my game mode, it. right? Mint is effectively it. dark and darker. It's dark and darker, but <laughs> it, and it would be so freaking good. 
man. Do, I, do you know actually, what? I never will. Mint would enjoy I the mini game so much he would just be would. lost in playing it, yeah, and then I he'd be like, he'd be like, esports. What a stupid idea that was. This <laughs> is so way, much better. <laughs> a little tangent. Have you ever played a shooter or a fucking dark and darker with Rake CD? He is the loudest. <laughs> the loudest person. Bro. The it requires stealth. Music. You hear footsteps, and man, just clomping around with his sword. <laughs> Doesn't give a shit. You just hear his fucking. Bro, you can't go anywhere Dude, with this I man. Like, the fucking like darker, combat. darker. I don't know what to tell you. About. Like I, I'm a, I'm a kind of like brawler. Like I like to get yeah, in there. Yeah, you know? yeah. He's You're a, a melee, louder, bro. He's a melee guy. You know, melee guy. Wow. Whereas like Mint's he's like in the shadows, like creeping around yeah, yeah. with his little. Daggers. I'm a fucking goblin, dude. And one day, me. Rakesy and uh, Solo are gonna play Dark and Dark together one day. Uh, bro, I, uh, I, 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 I actually I, 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 I doesn't want to play season two with bro, my uh, friends. Just, just Solo trolling. only plays old school RuneScape and FIFA. <laughs> That's yeah. it. I don't even. I, don't, I played FIFA when I was like 15. I played bro. Rocket League. It's it's kind <laughs> of sad, man. I'm not gonna lie. By the way, we've been looking at the sigils, bro. Look yeah, at the nah, sigils. Let's let's go over the sigils real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, These yeah. people are probably shaking right now. So they are bringing back sigils to dead man mode. If you don't know what sigils were, they were in leagues, and I think they were in a dead man mode as well. They were, and, uh, and they, they were awful. Yeah. I know it sounds really they negative, were, but but they were, and I will back up what I'm saying because. So here's the thing: the problem with sigils, <laughs> the problem with sigils last time were specifically the combat sigils okay they, they were had, strong right they, well One they had dark. they had combat sigils that basically took any skill that a player had and just reduced it to rng and whenever you do that it effectively means that the the update that's coming is broken it's overpowered because you could get vls your entire health in one tick. Well, na and doing name a couple wrong because I can't so, remember. Solo, what, was, were, were you the one that? Yeah, I can't. I can't CD? believe they get this. This thing happened. They got one hit by dogs. <laughs> Yo, what was uh, that yeah. sigil that one hit you? What was? What was it? What was it? Was it? <laughs> aggression. Um. So there was. I think it was aggression and rampage. So aggression was twenty percent bonus damage, and rampage oh, was you shit. could. You stacked up different combat styles to get to 25% bonus damage. So you essentially had 45% bonus damage, which oh, meant nice. that you could hit 150 of Darox. I remember that. You and could then you had an sigil. Oh, yeah, you could, hit, you could hit like 100 with an AGS. You could dude, hit. Do you remember the unfree sigil, though? Like you'd get yeah, screen sniped yeah, by yeah. a dude in full kit with all those sigils you're talking about, and you'd freeze him. You're like, I'm God. And all of a sudden he starts moving again. You're like, Right. So to expand, <laughs> to expand on my very. Uh, initial negative comment yes. so i think that the other two <laughs> sigils were fine i think if it's going to be something that helps with skilling that's not a problem whatsoever um it was just the combat ones they were way too powerful and uh i hope that whatever they put in here for the sigils please tone it down jagex like you I don't are going to be having a bad there. time bro well, well th <laughs> this is right so I, I should probably tell you this um this is the first demo mode ever where i'm actually not interested in pk every single demo <laughs> mode i've pk and i've you know tried to enjoy myself but there comes mm. a certain point where it's like okay this is actually no longer fun and i'm just not willing to do it so i'm pretty much going to use this entire demo mode just as an excuse to make a load of money I'm literally just going to be PVMing for the week, and then I'm going to be cashing out after like a week and I'm done. Um, which is really sad, and I'm hoping that that changes because they actually put some really good updates into this demo mode. But I I'm sure I'm not the only person that feels like that, where it's just like, what is literally the point in spending a week grinding, making your own money, and then just getting one shot by somebody who had that gear on day two? Like, it's just not fun, okay? So Do you know if it's the same ones this time? They they haven't announced no. which ones there's gonna be. They, they they've they've gave, given an indication that they're gonna tone them down. So yeah. okay, there you go. What, what, what we'll say. I mean, if I was they, gonna if say to Tom, you're gonna be having a bad time. If, if they totally remove the combat ones, I think that'd be perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with a sigil that gives you like more woodcut and AXP. Like that's not who cares. It's yeah, Dead I mean they they already letting you skip skip the quest, so like who cares, right? You're right. So you're, Tom, yeah, now yeah. back in the day, you could only have one combat or two combat and a skill. Now you could have three combat, three utility, three skilling. So if they don't really tone down, which I think you guys said they are, then you're gonna have three combat slot. I mean uh, sigils available, bro. Like I said, I'm not even doing PvP, so it's not even gonna affect mm. me. I just hope for the people that are gonna do PvP. That they do not make this too broken, or otherwise those people are done. You know, like learn from the past, man. The last demo mode 
with these sigils was an absolute disaster. Like, it just wasn't good. It effectively reduced skill down to RNG. That's not a good thing. <laughs> that means that everything you could do previously to survive disappeared. Like, and there was nothing you could do about it because it just came yeah. down to RNG. And a lot of the time, the RNG won because they were that broken. So, yeah, I really hope that they they think very sensibly with these because i think that this could very quickly kill off the game mode if they are as op as they were previously i think it's i think it was an interesting addition to last demo mode and that was it's kind of like the 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 feature the centerpiece of last demo mode the interesting thing i can't and i don't know why they necessarily felt the need to bring them back for this dead man mode because it just makes it more complicated and things because now i yeah. see the central thing of this dead man is the breaches and all that sort of stuff so it's it's in, it's interesting to decide to bring them back, especially because I don't think Last Dead Man was that particularly successful in terms of player numbers. But nah, yeah, yeah they I agree. Like, I feel like they may not even need it, <laughs> right? They, they may not even need that, right, at all. Mm. And they're really. also going to be bringing in utility items too, instead of utility. Like some utility sigils have become utility items. So, like they're doing a couple new things here. Uh, you're going to have utility of vengeance, so you can cast vengeance. <laughs> before 94 mag magic apparently uh utility of undead summon the frog utility of fairy you know the fairy shit utility of high alk high alk and then you got utility of advanced weaponry which is tier three which gives the players a random blighted weapon which we covered earlier about blighted weapons but that's how you get it so you can get a uh i don't even know how that works it's a utility item and then i guess you just get this from like a yeah breach. so it is, it's like you get you'll probably get it from a breach or even maybe just random npcs they haven't even specified that so it's like you pick it's just, it's like picking up a sigil in the old demo mode it'll be an item on the floor then you click it and then it's rng to decide what high level item you get and it could be like a blighted twisted bow or something like that so Did they i'm say they're weaker or as strong as the normal no they're, they're, they're as strong but the only thing is you can't carry them into world 45 dead man mode that's the only wow. thing blighted does it doesn't mean it's Crazy. temporary or anything like that so i personally really really hate this because it means that it devalues all of like the pvm stuff there is to do because there'll be a bunch of blighted t-bows blighted shadows and stuff before anyone's even really done like raids and all that sort of thing so uh -huh. Yeah. It gi it gives it gives people like me, people like Rakesy, far less incentive to play Dead Man Mode because we would be playing it for the survival aspect of it, going out PVM and getting gear, selling it, and like sort of progressing our account for the points and things. There's way less incentive if all these things have been devalued because random people have just been spawning them in. And there's no such thing as oh, it's so exciting. We're the first to get to this content. If we get something, it's going to be the first one of these in the game. Because everything's already yeah. in the game from the blind yeah. system, so I, so I really don't like it. Can you trade agree. them and PK them, or are they lost on death? I, I believe I believe the blighted stuff will be tradable. I I, I don't know though. I don't know actually. So, I would imagine it wouldn't be. I I feel like this is a scrap, man. This I, should be I mean, a scrap. I kind of I kind of agree and disagree with you, Solo. Because at the end of the day, I mean, I I don't like the idea of there being like claws, Karasi, and AGS. I will say that. But like, let's take the free biggest weapons on there so the tebow the tumacan and the scythe now what i would say to that is at the end of the day those three weapons are actually pretty useless in pvp so effectively they are only going to be useful inside of pvm and pkers aren't even going to want them so in some ways if you were to scrap the dragon claws the karasi the ags the actual useful pk items the big tick items there pkers don't even want those items like, I mean, a Tebow would be amazing if you want to go and get an Inferno cape. Or if you this want to... Guy do... you <laughs> this guy just doesn't want to do a rune crossbow cape, Wait. bro. We get it. You you it. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 like, do, do you get what I'm saying, right? It's like, when it comes to these items here... Not really. Okay, okay, right. So, you can't use the scythe in PvP. I mean, you can if you want to troll. But, like, it's not going to be that great. But imagine if you do oh. get a blighted weapon, you get yourself a blighted scythe. It's like, oh, shit, boys. Who wants to do TOB? And then we can get some Avernix, which will actually sell. Or, oh, we got a Tumacun. Let's go to 208. TOA, wait, wait, but because it's, it's gonna look, be there's banged. like blighted claws and shit. And yeah. That yeah. Stuff, right? Can you that, imagine someone gets a blighted Void Waker day one? Like, that. who's going to expect a Void Waker like, yeah. two days in? That's going to be so scary. Listen, I, I, yeah. I honestly am like, I don't really care that much about the blighted stuff. I'm happy if they remove it or they 
you know, no, they should. Is. Right. But I, I think that the claws and the PK weapon specifically should probably be removed from it. But that's just my opinion. Um, but I don't actually mm -hmm. think that the big ticket items. I don't think they're going to be as useful as you think. Like, bro, who PKs with a T-Bow? Yeah, yeah, but who knows what items it's going to be? Like, they've, they've shown us a couple in this example, but it also could extend out to every piece of God Wars armor, every piece of, like, Missouri Ellie's, all the rest of it. Yeah. Like, like, why if did they, if they do that? Do, like, silly. It's 100% silly. Yeah, I think yeah, they I did think this... So they could, you could do breaches easier too. They're trying to get you to do that content, and it feels like the only reason blighted weapons exist right now is so that you go and do these breaches. I don't think they would have actually added this if uh, the breaches weren't in Dead Man Mode yeah, I think you're totally right. I think that there could be, like, like I said at the beginning of this, this entire demo mode blog could be so hugely focused on the breaches and all of the monsters that are coming out of that that. You know, maybe we can't even fully understand or appreciate what this is going to be like, like what the vision is. So, uh, if, uh, hey, if they want to, they could literally just make those blighted weapons only work on the bosses. Yeah, you know. Yeah, for right? sure. And then that it would that way it would solve a lot of the, um, you know, lack of uh, de devaluing the progression. You know, that kind of thing, right? Yeah, that that would help a lot <laughs> with not but, you know messing that part up. Yeah. But like you said, if it, I mean, if they extended this to being like every armada item, Missouri, everything from raids and stuff, yeah, I think this would be, I think I I would a hundred percent agree with Solo Mission on that if that were to be the case. But they haven't specified it is, but we we obviously don't know. I think this is like the the, the what do you call it the dark horse of uh, what they want to put in, you know, to this MMO. All the other stuff, it's like yeah, you know they're there, but this is like you gotta let us know because. It's a scrap 50-50. Uh, for me, it's the, like, the nail in the coffin. Like, th stuff like <laughs> yeah. this is the reason... No, stuff like this is the reason that I won't be playing for all four weeks and possibly even quitting after a few days because yeah. there's no, there, there is nothing to do because all the PVM, all these great items are unlocked through random shit. All the quests are unlocked for free. All, all the there's no such thing as the, the GP is not valuable because it's all been shut out through like all from the breaches, all from CG, all from these high level things. Like there's there's no such thing as the early and medium economy. We're straight to the late game economy, and it just skips out a ton of your RuneScape journey. And it's just like there's no longevity in that, in my opinion. Well, I mean, we'll see. I hope, I really hope I'm wrong, but... Oh, it's so... Uh, the thing is, we don't know. You might be completely wrong. Yeah, but then... Yeah. I, 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 I kind know. of like... The thing is, they need to expand on this, and I'd love to hear their, their faults, like the fault process behind this stuff, because like, hey, imagine if the reason they're doing it like this is because they're like, there's a massive issue with people that are, you know, feeding one account, and you've got people in the first day that have Barrage and full RMs and AGS or whatever it is, and it's like, maybe this is a potential way of addressing that so that the average player can get almost as close to that, but actually just by playing. Like, we don't know. Like, they need to obviously expand on what they've yeah. said. But, or maybe they're just throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks. I yeah. think but it's but a bit I'd, of a I'd, second option. I'd say, I'd say that if everything, if everyone has everything, then everyone, then nothing has any value and no one gives a shit and everyone quits. That's, right. that's just what happens with these things. Mm -hmm. everyone's you need quit things anyway, to though. feel meaningful. But, like, but well, do you, yeah, do you know maybe not as early. Is? The funny thing is, is if everybody has nothing because they've all died, then they okay. fucking quit anyways. So this is just like the polar opposite to that. It's like the extreme other end where it's like you can have everything and let's see if they quit or you know. They're trying to get that giga economy well, so, going. I mean, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> want a PvP item. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I they should like... make it so the pyramid tops are worth like a hundred k each. <laughs> they should they, no, they, they honestly should because they, they're gonna yeah, have to know, do right? like like what because, because they're shitting out so much stuff for free yeah. they, to, to make the rest of the game worth doing they're gonna have to buff the rest of the game massively i'll tell you what we should do why don't we just not give all this shit out for free yeah, that, yeah. honestly <laughs> why don't we do that <laughs> i definitely think they definitely shouldn't do blade weapons because uh, you're already gonna unlock gauntlet so early and a forecast so early and that stuff literally gives you like hundreds of thousands of gold uh, in an hour. So yeah, yeah so there's no, there's, <laughs> yeah, there's, 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 there's uh, no one. People aren't spread out over the map. People don't have their interesting, unique paths and things. People aren't doing pyramid. The newbie players can't PK PK on a pyramid because no one's doing it because the GP's worth nothing. Everyone's yeah. just sitting outside CG where no one can die because you can just go straight back into the instance. Mm -hmm. Things like like I just think the rapid giving everything to sort of. Fast. 
like it, it like yeah it gets all these casual players playing which never actually play which is why for someone like me it sounds super elitist but it's incredibly frustrating that we've waited two years for a dead man and it feels like it's just going to be over within like four hours because i'm just going to be making a million hours straight away it'll all be right. a fun I, four hours though actually i think i have <laughs> some uh i think i have some bouncing tweaks that i would i would personally make just based on all this information right so first of all I agree. I think I don't think they should just uh, let you just unlock the quest right away after you reach the combat because you you probably get that combat in literally less than a day just AFKing something, right? Maybe 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 instead like it should be something uh, like after a week or two, you you will get the quest for free, something like that. So that way the people that really want to grind make that progression the first two weeks and you know all that, they can, you know, maybe still get it, right? That that might help a bit. I also feel I agree with the sigils. It shouldn't. They probably shouldn't be like really any big combat ones. They should really only be skilling ones. So that way it incentivizes people to train their skills even faster, and that way they can actually do their quests even faster, right? So it's effectively almost like you get a free quest, but it's, it's you still have to do that quest. But just the skilling part is way faster. Maybe they can do that instead, right? Make those sigils sure. more focused on skilling. Or, or or yeah, like I said, just make sure the questing part doesn't just get like completely null like that. Because yeah. You're right. It, it does need a sense of progression. Like, there's such a thing as too fast, right? Like, there's fast, and th that, you know, I feel like unlocking maybe the like right blighted away, items come out fast. like week two or some shit or week three. Yeah, I I feel like Jagex hasn't really done a, a good job when it comes to like pacing sometimes with the new modes, right? Like, Leaks 3 was like a, a, a great example of them kind of ruining their own kind of like setup, right? Because they're like, okay, guys, you can unlock different regions. Uh, and then you can unlock different uh, abilities, but then they they made it so easy that almost anybody could unlock everything in a week. But but leaks was literally a two month event, right? And and they could have made it last like a month easily with like what people can do, but they decided to just unlock all the progression right away for people. So it it, it kind of killed a big part of the charm of that, right? Like there was no reason why like people would make different progression paths, right? To like unlock different combos of regions because you know it might take a bit of an investment they have to think about it but there's no point if you unlock everything in a week then everybody just does the same the same exact thing every day uh, i mean within the week right so i feel like with this leak it probably would end up being the same right if everyone just unlocks all the quests within uh, a day then there really is no like you know unique paths that people will take right people are just gonna know that people are just gonna tell each other this is the most optimal thing right you just rush cg that's it. That's all you do, right? And then it's so boring, right? It would it would probably just make that mode extremely boring as well. So they do need to like pace what kind of super broken free stuff that they give out, right? Like they shouldn't give it right away. It should definitely be like time gated after a week, after two weeks, maybe, or like or, yeah. so then people can actually like, hey, if you want to play harder, you still can. You still yeah, you know that that matters, you know, for you, right? The, like the, the people, only the matters. only thing I will say is that. To expect the casual players to be playing after a week is, like, it's not, it's just not realistic. Like, the casual players have logged out in the first six hours, or at least in the first three days, and they don't come back. So, well, I mean, you could always just tell your casual friends, like, hey, it's been a week now, so if you want to uh, get the free <laughs> quest unlock, it's there, you know? This is actually, right? it's funny you're saying you this, because saying? this has actually been a Deadma mode in the past. Like, everything you've just really? said has been in has previous it, Deadma it? modes. Yeah, and effectively what will happen is, you know, it, it's nice, because, you know, let's say Desert Treasure unlocks after the first week, and then the people that really want to get Desert Treasure done will do it themselves, but... They're also yeah. the people that have like a hundred mil in gear and they've just traded from the main game and then they just rinse everybody. So you kind of just get hit by that problem. Um, this kind of, well, I feel like this kind of levels happens, that though, playing right? field is in a way yeah. it kind of levels the playing field, but at the same time, it gives everybody everything at once, but at least it's different from what we've had in the past. Yeah. I feel like giving everything away at once though is too strong, you know? I like, like, yeah, I like the pacing. Yeah, I, I, I think I think it's fun that they're giving they're trying something different in terms of the fast progression, but that will turn into like someone like me probably. Maybe I'll play for a week. I don't know. Like, yeah. <laughs> because the, you've also got to remember, there's no final hour to play for anymore. People don't have to get best in slot gear. Nothing's going to be worth dollars. anywhere near as much. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. But no, but even if there were one v ones, people would like to be at max for the pride of it. No one's going to care about having a Missouri body for a multi-like clusterfuck with bosses. They're like, 
I'll happily yeah. swap that out and just take my black dehide. So everything, all the price of things aren't going to maintain a value. The swappers won't play for as long because nothing has a value as much. Like, yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's... I feel like progression is still important, man. We they still need a sense of progression that makes sense for like a what a, what was it a month event right or something. Mm. So I mean, yeah, like week one sigils, so, week okay. two blighted. I like yeah, that. I think, I think logically it 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 logically you shouldn't reach end game in one day, right? It just <laughs> this shouldn't happen. It just that just shouldn't happen. Period, right? Because you know this is a progression based game, and even if it's a mode that's time limited, you simply can't just give people all the end game content accessibility within the first day because what's the point right what's the point of it what's the what, what even is the point of this mode at that point right there's no like story right there's no progression anymore it's completely gone right so yeah it wouldn't, wouldn't even matter at that point i mean i think there's the biggest i, fall, I agree right? dude there's, <laughs> oh this is so 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 difficult right. do, do you know yeah. what like instantly so they, could, drives. Let's go. they could make a yeah. change to these blighted weapons i mean why not make them corrupted weapons and then like say you've got dragon claws and it's like you have a total of four specs and then they disappear to dust and they're gone right i i, I think that the top one should definitely go but if they wanted to put like some corrupted pvp weapons that people can get and like have a very limited amount of hits with it i think that's okay like i feel like that's a little bit better than whatever this is yeah um, but, I personally you know. think they just scrap the blighted right, and then uh, make the make those like uh, what do you call it? those those um, sigils just help people level up faster, so that way they can actually just do the quest quicker. So I feel like that would help a lot. Like it's not gonna like completely you know um, satisfy the the super casual players, but I feel like the players that like can at least grind a quest cake, for example, they probably be like, okay, I can do that. You know, I can do those quests if everything's accelerated on top of you know like the base acceleration and then you get the sigil acceleration i'm sure they'll probably be like okay i'm down to so, commit what, and like unlock those things do we want to help people who are willing to grind a quest cape though maybe the help they need is to go touch some right. grass what i will say <laughs> in terms of in terms of you progression know, i feel like it's a realistic goal right i think that i never played much twisted leagues i'll be honest i played one of the trailblazers and i, oh, I remember one of your leagues bro that was a, a combination <laughs> of silk stalls and i think sand crabs <laughs> the and then you talk good shit and then never play it again yeah it was, I a, didn't, it was a good run. i didn't see uh, the point in it but but you got demolished but i'm just saying what's the right, progression though Listen, right and you, you of... work towards the bossing and you get the Boys. nice gear you know in terms of progression but... for this they are adding a point system Okay, and the point system is effectively uh, the way that they've written it. It's going to be the same as for Star Wars, where it's like you get points for doing stuff. Like you get points for skilling, for PVM in, for PVP in, and then you know it, it's something like you get ranked into tiers, right? So the progression could they could be trying to make it so that is the progression. Like people are less focused on having to complete quests or whatever. Although you can do that, the main part of progression is seeing what tier you can rank yourself in with a point system like maybe that's one of the incentives here um because hey like with twisted leagues and trailblazers like i never properly played it but like don't you pretty much max like within like two or three days or something like it's insanely fast right nah like, you get man, it took fast. me like a, it took me like a week at least it took you know, me a week even, max. that's still yeah, like incredibly fast right so i mean maybe but it's that's not what a day going for you know but you're not, yeah, but day, you're, not gonna, you know, you know? you're not gonna max in a day well, no, but the thing is, you know? I couldn't reach end game content in, you know what I mean, in a day. I, I, I literally had to grind like, like 10, 15 hours for a week straight just to do like chambers, you know? So just to put that into perspective, okay, it wasn't, well, yeah. So that's what I'm trying to say is that like, is that like, it, I mean, just grinding for points in this mode is sounds so boring, man. Like, I feel like, you know, I feel like you should definitely still hit the beats, right, of, of progression, right? Like, you know, you get your XP, you level up certain things, you start, you know, you unlock some quests, you can, you earn some money, you buy some items, and then you do some progressively harder content. I feel like you still need those beats, right? So explain to me, because I never played it. So what, what, what were the progressional steps? How did it feel like? What was the pacing with Twisted Okay, Leagues? so like, uh, Twisted League, I, I mean, I was there on day one, right? But, but like, twist, there's a few things you could do. You could, you could be like the clue guy, right? I, I saw a mission was the clue guy for sure. He like went heavy. You focus on that. I don't know how fast that progression was, but 
But you could do that, or you could be like the PVM guy, right? The guy that, you know, goes and does like chambers, or, or actually there's three. Uh, the third one was you go for ranks. It was pretty prestigious, I guess, you know, at the time, because it's like the first uh, mode of its kind. So people are just doing like, you know, going for ranks, the points, right? So do you do the task? And for me, I did I did the PVM route, right? So um, I just did a lot of Slayer training. I try to get into Slayer. I try to unlock some bosses like Seracnus. Um it's been a while but like but there were like definitely like a good amount of training involved different skilling um just like trying to figure out like how to how to get certain items because at the time it was just like we didn't know half the content in Zaya. so there was like a lot of like experimenting like we people found out like if you kill these like skeletons in this catacomb you get a rune scimitar and then people figure out how to do clues and then if you do the clues you get the items you know get the uh, rune armor and then you can train your stats a train slayer you you know you do more uh slayer creatures you get better weapons and then eventually you make it to chambers and that's kind of where you stay right but like it took me a while to get there right? like a week plus playing a lot yeah. like a lot a lot okay so it was still like there you know you still had to grind a bit but it was like much faster than obviously yeah. main game so it was so, it was still fun i mean with yeah. the plan that me and a few friends have formulated for this dead man mode i mean we're at toa on day two like pretty much Probably day one right <laughs> uh, uh potentially if we did like a 24 hours but i think it would be playing yeah, about 16 yeah. hours a day but yeah we're definitely at toa grinding it day two with all the yeah. gear with all the stats etc etc so but that's with you know an actual planned out idea of what we're gonna do and it's i'm not gonna go into it but yeah, again, yeah, I, I don't think for a second that this is going to come in like this. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. Like, you might think that, buddy, but hey. Well, <laughs> Who's not going to do CG, right? Let's do right. some CG <laughs> and Arad in the MMT tunnels and then we're right. well. Yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> I, I'd, say, I'd say the one the one thing that League's points really have over Deadman points are League's points provide an incredible progression framework because yeah. you're constantly un unlocking relic slots and that's yeah, that's the that. that's one of the most yeah. enjoyable things about it and also the tasks specifically are more interesting it will be a speed running task on Vorkath or do this certain go and do this certain thing or go and get this certain drop the point system we don't know how it's going to work in deadman mode, but the fresh start point system that it's, this is going to be based off, it's nowhere near as engaging. There's, there are no progression yeah. steps for like getting certain point milestones or anything like that. Yeah. Um, the points themselves, I'm pretty sure in fresh start, you just get points for, per KC. So eventually the meta is you farm the fastest points per hour boss and you just keep doing that. That's not a thing in leagues because the task system and the point system yeah. are arranged such that you have to do everything. You have to go all over the yeah, place. Yeah, you can't so, spam the same tasks over and over again. Yeah, so, so, that's, yeah. So, so that's one worry I have for the dead man mode point system is that there won't be enough love shown to it to, to keep people going everywhere. If it was league style, then yes, I think it would be a lot better. But at the same time, I am happy that there, there are points being added to Dead Man and that's what the rewards are framed around because hopefully that will provide an incentive for people to keep playing more. Um, but my last thing with the points of Dead Man is maybe people won't feel as incentivized co to compete on them because you can just swap GP in, buy a load of gear, and then just farm the points quicker because you've got a lot of better gear. So there's not... like I'm not going to give a rank one because I'm not going to swap in two bill. So... Yeah. I don't know. So maybe it, they're a bit deep. They're a lot, so all those things mean they're just not that comparable to league points and not as interesting. Which is yeah. You want leagues, dude. I don't even want Demi. Yeah, I prefer a league. I want <laughs> leagues now, I think, bro. I, I, I think a lot of people are, like <laughs> share that sentiment. Like Me included, I can't lie. <laughs> I really want to play leagues, dude. Because it's like, it <laughs> like leagues, but scary and not as fun. Yeah, I, I, just, yeah, I, I, I just feel like, man, after like talking about this more indefinitely, I feel like this demo is just lacking huge progression overall. Because like, it's like, yeah, it, you know, helping new people or more super casual people trying to get like free content is one thing. But I feel like that would come at the cost of the entire game mode itself. So it's yeah. either they accept the fact that like people need to still grind the mode or you effectively make this mode last like three days and then that's it. That's the end of it. Three day dead Dude. man mode. Huh? So I, I think based off of this, they've probably accepted that people do quit just after the first few days and they just want to make it so the people that do stick around 
don't have like a huge disadvantage versus people that have decided to swap because it really is just a fan service for PKers. Because PKers are simple, they just want to run around killing people. Unlike you know the they less they do. have to do in terms of questing, the funner an experience. So they need to add like five thousand more to the prize pool and just be like, for anyone who plays over three weeks, <laughs> here you go. And just like randomly send them. You're the lost <laughs> Yeah, it's like, oh, bronze. I don't give a shit. Here you go, bro. Thanks for playing, dude. Why not, dude? Why not? Dude, you logged dude, in for yeah. one minute. For 30 days, <laughs> get, get, the, get the bots all logged in as well. Let's go. Yeah, I'll just assume uh, like 200k players yeah. or something. I, I think I think my main issue with it is that Dead Man Mode will never be casual friendly as long as yeah. they're swapping, as long as you can attack anyone anywhere, and as long as anyone that plays 20 hours a day has an advantage. And those things will never disappear yeah, because when yeah, they do, that's not Dead Man Mode them. anymore. Yeah, so you can't fix those. it's just, mm. yeah. I, I know I come across really elitist. And like almost anti casual players, but generally I am on, I am on the side of a lot of casual players on a lot of issues. But when it comes to demo mode, it's just not it's just not for your average Joe unless you're like you like consent, you sign in, and like you're <laughs> happy you're happy to just be there and like fuck around and do some like PK in a weird spot and like catch people off guard and stuff. Which people do, people do play a few hours a day and do that. But no one's no one who plays three hours a day is ever going to be PKing in like amazing gear. And like holding their own against the people that play 16 hours a day it's just a fantasy yeah not people. to mention right, all the right. cheaters too like they didn't even mention like ahk bots because right now the wilderness at the moment is full of AHK yeah bots, I, I, so. I, I guess mm -hmm. it's true you know like it, demo mode is at the you know at the core is like pvp right so it's not it's punishing so i feel like yeah i feel like the casual players they'll I feel like with the bracketed worlds, they'll they'll still get something, right? The accelerate base XP is already something for for these players already. So we can't we can't just give it all everything away, you know, to people that are casuals, unfortunately, especially in this game mode. So man, do you know I, I feel like in any game mode, I feel like you just can't give everything away, right? Bro, right my bat. my favorite dead man mode was the one where yeah. everybody trained at the tree gnome. Was it the tree? No, oh, the grand tree. Those birds on or the some terror shit. birds. I love that dead mode because I just dude, did. You I see just... the people kill over the birds. Yeah, that's dude. That's what I did. I just made an account. You got evil AD magic, person, bro. And then I just AFK checked huh. everybody, and the amount of people that were just dead <laughs> AFK. And then I just like tele telegram their uh, <laughs> their fucking loot, dude. I PK'd so much doing that, and it was so uh... fun. Mm. Ah, it's a shame that that's never going to come back. Demo mode's dead. They yeah, you can't attack people in the safe zone anymore, right? No. no. But yeah. no, that's, I, one of the, I mean, that's, that's one of the problems with the whole game, and right? it's so solved that that just that's not as yeah. much of a thing anymore. Yeah. I feel like it's one remember, of those things which is like you just reminisce yeah. about, like I just did, but I, I don't know. Well, I, the, I hope that they just throw enough shit on the wall. Eventually, some of it comes out good and sticks. You remember know? the first original demo mode where no one knew what they were doing. Uh, the Grand Exchange wasn't there, so and outside of the Rock Big Bank, people would just be trading. And it's right next to the PvP zone, and there was a couple mm. smart people who thought, I'm going to go for a 99 cooking right away, so they could use the Cooking Guild, which is literally just west of the Big Bank, right, and use it as a bank, and they would just sit there with dark bows and just take people out day in, day out. No combat brag, it's just, if you were level 3 merching, you see a little telegraph, bro. Yeah. Or even worse, y you could attack people in the safe zone while you're in the safe zone. So you'd have people barraging with a G mall and you just see someone just see barrage 30, 30 drops. They both drop and then everyone fight for the loot. God, that shit was wild, man. I, I, I really hope I, this has been like the whole conversation has basically been like, these are not the best of ideas, but like, I hope that they come back with something, something more, more solid and substantial. Yeah, um, to be fair, I like the breach. The only mm -hmm. two things I don't like about this demo mode is obviously the the quest, the free quest unlocks immediately after you achieve the combat level. That's very easy to achieve, and just the blighted stuff, right? Because it's just aren't like early on you can you can RNG the best gear in the game, right? I, those two mm -hmm. things I just don't like, but yeah, I think I, the breach is cool. I'm a it's huge good. fan of the breach. My two yeah. things, because I actually have two things too, would be the sigils and then um, the blighted weapons because i actually like the quest unlocks i feel like a way to get around that is maybe you just don't give all the quest unlocks right maybe you don't get 
the elf area unlocked or this area Ooh, unlocked. How, but have a how, bunch of them though. How about yeah? How about this? Like they give you the prerequisites after you unlock the combat, but then you still. Well, have I don't to, want like, to do DT. Do the... So let's but let's keep a couple of these boys down in here. Like what two hours? So it's like it's the same thing. Uh, it's the same. It's thing, just if bro. they unlock a crazy money maker. Don't let them get it. Oh, if okay, it so no, like, like to be fair, like Elf, Elf City oh, yeah. quest is seventy-five a bunch of stats though. So even if you give them the quest prerequisites, uh, prerequisites they would stop train their their stuff to seventy-five. But is like, it, it's I'm seventy, only... isn't it? Or is it seventy? Yeah, like, uh, sorry, seventy something, right? It's still a yeah. lot of them. There's like five of them. But like, I was thinking, you know, I was saying uh, neutron sigils because you could just make the sigils throttle your XP rates, right? And then that'll be a cool little, you know, thing that could really uh make the whole connect the the issue right of of like either you give them quests or you don't give them quests but hey if you have something that modifies xp even more then it might not be so bad right because then you get rid of that choresy part and you get right into the questing so i really hope that i heard you I heard, I heard you say we were negative on everything but yeah i do want to give up to the breaches the breaches are really really good i think yeah, like, yeah. and we, we kind of brushed over how good they're gonna be for the whole ecosystem yeah, that's good that's good yeah i agree so i was about to say i hope that they really double down on this this concept um, and they make this really good what if it's too strong like you got a single breach but then there's just like shit tons of monsters and you just die that as would soon be as you amazing. walk in that would be so cool imagine you just if that's, that's, don't Dude, they should. That's what I was. Killing. That's what I'm thinking. Look at look at the picture, right? And then look how many KVDs are, are in are in that area. Four. Now imagine, right? So there's there's there are five bosses there. Imagine they're five different bosses. That's gonna be ridiculous. By the way, there's actually Especially if, if, if they're if they're on the level of God Wars bosses, Dagonoff primes, etc. You're gonna have to like drag them off to the side. I don't yeah, know. I don't know if that's do. like a. And when you, I don't know if that's like an accurate version of a breach or not but and when you it, kill yeah. a breach boss do you get the normal drop table as well like what the fuck do you get killing jad do you yeah, get a fire cave bro like that'd be sick you just, everyone you know, gets there, there's actually yeah. six bosses here i've just realized so this is prime and supreme on top of each other so they messed oh. up the spawn here and you can uh -huh. see the attacks you can see the spikes and the other uh, uh, yeah. detective yeah. rakesy dude i think that's the best thing i've heard yeah, no, of. like that was crazy dude, dude. I'm, i feel like sick. i feel like it's really hard to fuck up that concept i think it's really easy to fuck up the free quest and 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 you know that kind of stuff right that that's like oof, you I, know, that's I, th I think how destroyer. how they how they fuck up this concept is if there are way too many breaches to the point where they yeah. don't become special anymore and there are like breaches going on and no one even bothers going because yeah maybe just questing and there's just monsters around you shit. for some reason hey, just I, everywhere I just assume, you know it'd be like what once an hour maybe like five different spots right I, I think that'd be kind of way thing. too many. That's that's right. a real overestimation of how many people uh, okay. think that. How much do you think it's like? Good, I think a know? couple of times a day, like oh, okay, <laughs> maybe okay, five, five, five six day. times a day on one world, like okay. <laughs> once so every, every two hours. hours, every three hours, like basically. like big big clan fights, and then okay. the more people are the, the more people that are there, that helps casual players because there's more chaos. If if there's like. Mm. Because it, 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 it's like so so split up and spread out and five people turn up to the solo breach, then everyone just gets picked off by like yeah. well, the one PK that goes. Yeah, so. once every few hours, I guess. Yeah, I'm not I'm not an expert on this one. So for a few Well, they're going to get another mindset. blog out. This is just yeah. kind of like a teaser. They, they yeah, really well. left a lot of things under the mm -hmm. under the yeah. table here we don't we do not know a lot these about these are just some ideas anyways they've not said any of this is like i, I, I don't right. think right do, do you guys do you guys have any additional ideas on top of this because if not I'll, let me go oh no. <laughs> i mean like... i would right, i would love the option to play as an iron man in this game mode the option to you and you are an iron man you don't get loot for for killing somebody and getting all their stuff you don't you can't trade anyone. You can't get things you on the G. You can't pick these up. Five hundred dollars. You literally can't get anything. But okay, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for oh, it. Okay, here but we go. Iron the Iron Men point high scores will only be competing with other Iron Men. So that really that. So then all of a sudden, wow, amazing! The progression's back for people like me, people that just want to play as a survival game mode, and they want that progression because all that stuff is baked in because. There's no good exchange, right? As an Iron and, Man, um, when you kill someone, do you get their items? No, you don't. You don't get anything. You're literally you're not playing for you're not playing to you're not playing for PvP at all. You're playing as a survival game mode. You're going for points like a league, and these think about the existence of Iron Man in a, a Dead Man mode. 
They can't trade anyone. Their <laughs> entire bank is on them because in the bank, there's no muling, there's no swapping, there's no nothing. Yeah, that's and these these shit. these are. Uh, these Iron Men have to go out all over the world, which create the whole the whole world map is a bit more alive. If you get on an Iron Man, you're like, oh my god, the key's gonna be insane. There's gonna be like <laughs> loads of potions and things in there. Like it's really cutthroat to play, but for someone like me, I think that would provide the incentive to play the full four weeks, especially if there's high scores, especially if there's a split of money given away to these diff this different mode you can opt in to play. Yeah. Uh, any any downsides? Sure, why not? Honestly, I, if the not. community wants it, sure. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> I think why not, not, dude? That sounds good. <laughs> yeah, I, go for yeah. it. I think it's just free content, and I don't know why they wouldn't do it. Because how much YouTube content would they create? I know I'd probably make one, dude. Like, yeah, I, would you I rather would watch an Iron do Man well. do Dead Man mode? Would you rather watch a, just a regular guy play Dead Man mode? You're gonna want to watch Iron Man because I mean, when he well, dies, it sucks. You've basically yeah. just described like <laughs> a PvP is... hardcore, except from you yeah. can just keep going when you die. Except I, it's I think it's a good idea. I like that a lot. Yeah. Except there's uh, gonna be way many PKers, way more PKers that can show up randomly. You know. Yeah, but like something like me, I play I play like that anyway. I don't really go out to attack people. I, the only time I ever attack people is in like multi, just with the boys fucking around. I mean, the real question yeah. is, is how many people would actually like that idea? So if anyone's watching the podcast at this point, do you like that idea? Would you I, actually play that game mode? Because it sounds like most people content. probably wouldn't. That, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. It <laughs> sounds like great. If you want content common YouTube, engagement, but... Tom, we'll ask. Would you rather want leagues or dead man mode? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, Five sure, million really. comments, bro. Yeah. Yeah, Which one would you guys rather have <laughs> and why? Make it lengthy. I want pages down there, bro. I want you typewriting. All right. What would oh, you want? Good. There we go. Free but engagement. Yeah. Uh, I think. Yeah. Is there anything like, else I, on Dead Man Mode that we, we haven't have, covered? I think, uh, no, not really. All right. There, think, there's one thing, actually. Things, right? we, we touched on it things. briefly, but we didn't give a, a full example. Uh, one of the things they're doing for this, which I, I personally like, is they're making it so at the end of this demo mode, you can effectively transfer your items as long as they're not the blighted items the account over to world 45 dead man mode which is the permanent dead man mode world where there's like a player base of i don't Five. know hmm. there's like 20 Ten. 30 people Five in that dudes. world so, something like they that. all know each other They're very cozy very cozy yeah it's the same so, clan pretty much it's i mean just... i i don't really have a problem with it at all i'm assuming they're happy for new blood to be coming into the ecosystem um yeah, I think that's not a bad idea. That's the only thing I think we haven't touched on here. Yeah, it's crazy we didn't touch on it either. It. That's kind of like, like it's not a whole lot. Yeah. It's, 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 interesting, it it's interesting because people will get all the quests done for free, all their max stats, like... Because that World 45... Does that carry is, over is, to... Oh, World 45 is, pr is pretty damn brutal. It's only 5x xp rates and this you get 15 x plus you've got all the sigils and stuff like a max 45 account takes a long time to get and it's like really difficult because of the market and stuff and also it changes quite a lot because <laughs> things are coming into the seasonal at like four times drop rate right but people have been the people that have been playing that mode have been going on one times drop rate for years it's been pretty brutal there's only one world to get things in i think yeah. there's only two there's two la's ellie's in 45 and it's been like seven years Stuff like that. Uh -huh. So, yeah. so that I I don't, like, I don't know what the people think in forty five. Maybe maybe I'm they're like, they're down they for it because more people will Dude, play. The or happy, or man. they're like, oh my god, this all our stuff is so devalued. You know, I I'm I gonna know. go into their minds, deed the world three forty five deeds because they're not like some of them probably are nice. I've talked to a couple of them. I would say not not great, not nice. But <laughs> I, I have a feeling they are not happy. Even yeah, though it's gonna probably. give them more people to be in their world. And they're gonna have a lot of fun messing with those people. I feel like they're gonna be like, okay, my shit is undervalued now, or it's underaccomplished my maxed account. It's just a RuneScaper thing, dude. Even if it's gonna be more populated and the game's gonna survive more, I feel like they're still gonna be incredibly unhappy. But that's my yeah. guess. Yeah, yeah. people. And, don't that, like and they're, they're, they're yeah. Mm. And there, there's an element of it of well, it's hardly any people, so we shouldn't care about the thirty people. It's like when something gets updated and someone's crying on their like super specific limited iron and it's like that's one guy versus <laughs> versus yeah, the good man. of the game so <laughs> yeah. with respect your opinion just doesn't matter <laughs> yeah i just feel like they're throwing ideas out and letting us either shit on Fuck it or it praise it and then they just take whatever they, you know we praise yeah i think also. this is what i feel like this is what this blog's about because like there's no synergy with like really any of these like suggestions yeah. it just feels like 
here pick one you know like which tastes good let well, me know i think i yeah. think it depends on the i think it depends on the balancing of the breaches it's so hard for us to tell without yeah. knowing that yep it'd be cool if the breaches got like stronger if they didn't just start out crazy i mean maybe that's in their plan we'll know more but like say it's like a breach and maybe you got the dag and off kings whatever and then week two uh i don't know scare your monster i'm not a monster slayer just pop a monster and then it gets worse as it mm. goes down mm -hmm. i don't know if it's just gonna start crazy like yep. right away crazy what i'm saying is jagus needs to pay us because we're, we're like literally giving them so much good feedback right now i think <laughs> i would i would like a shirt yeah man. i don't know you well, a shirt, how, man, please <laughs> how do you th how, how do you think you could stop the breaches like getting old and like played out do you think mm, i feel like it's I, not I, gonna I say be that as a danger that old but... because you're always getting somewhat murdered right if the breaches are so That's good yeah. that there's well, always going to be so, that cat and mouse play but in multi it might get old because there might just be one clan that just stops everyone honestly so I multi think, might get old i, don't I know. think the concept could be massively uh expanded on so i mean if it is like successful they could do something in the in the future or maybe even this one if they wanted to where maybe uh you know when the rift spawns it's like it starts off with some lower level mobs that come out and it's like eventually there will be effectively a boss that comes out and when you kill the boss it disappears for how many how many hours but it, they could do it so like it can effectively invade an area where it's like all of the mobs all go into edgeville nobody's dealt with it and then if you go there, you're basically going to get wrecked. It just gets bigger so, and yeah. bigger until yeah, the so game they, ends. I love this shit, bro. They could do something awesome like that. And then people the are like forced first to go and world. deal with it. Like, you know, or make it go like to the Grand Exchange. Humans versus monsters, bro. <laughs> bro, it'd be, like, they could. Mm -hmm. Like, why not? They could do that. And then, you know, you Dude. you got to take out the minions and then the big bosses and stuff. Is, and is this how we get the clans to work together? I'm just One minute thinking, they're doxing yeah. each other. Now they're working together to fight each other. <laughs> Dude, yeah. that first world, though, the 50 bracket, they just can't even fight the first one. It just keeps <laughs> growing, bro. And they're like level 45, dude. And there's nothing like, they can do. Bro, they're just spawn camped in Lumbridge, and there's like a Jads outside just one shot. <laughs> there's yeah, just a demon outside, just right outside Lumbridge. It'd be amazing. But they could do something like that. They could make it actually like where they could put it, put you in a position where it's like you have to deal with this, or otherwise, like you can't use Edgeville Bank. Or like you can't use the Grand Exchange because there's fucking loads of minions there that will just fuck you <laughs> up. Like, that, they they could do things like that, you know. And why not? You know, it's dead man. Well, I I feel like be hilarious. I feel like you could probably just easily run around it because I I I don't think they're gonna literally spawn it like right next to the entrance of like. Well, you exchange. got like barragers yeah. in there just freezing. You. I, 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 I would imagine. Right I would I would imagine what they're gonna have are 10 different spawn points and they'll always rotate between those 10 and it won't just be randomly anywhere I feel like because be, because they'll they'll have to they'll right? have to choose them right because one yeah. will have to be multi one will have to be single so they'll, yeah. they'll have to make a distinct God. choice on it that. would be so good if it was random though can you imagine like in calf it'd be they're just i agree and all of a yeah. sudden just <laughs> like half the yeah. people get wiped because they're not paying attention Dude, there'll be so many like weird glitches if they just spawned anywhere <laughs> oh, there are no. gonna be glitches uh, man oh my god oh, it's gonna I, be so I, what if they just embrace right, the yeah. glitches though what if they yeah. embrace it like yeah. skyrim right where it's <laughs> yeah, like a sure. feature oh yeah one, i mean one, uh, yeah 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 go ahead no, so i was gonna say one thing i really like about the breaches is it turns what could be like an unassuming random normal spot into somewhere where there's actually Iconic, PK action, right. where there's never been PK action before. Like there's yeah. somewhere like southwest of the farming guild, for example. No one's ever PK'd there, yeah. but now that could be one of the spots that spawns. So it, it makes ooh, a lot more difference. Like where, where's my escape when I'm going to this random spot? Ooh, makes, you, yeah. makes you think and all that sort of stuff. It could really actually be so hype. They could make it so whenever the breach happens, they could literally force like every player that's logged in to get a cut screen. Where it just like goes to black and then it comes to day and you just see like the cracks appearing wherever the location <laughs> is and then it goes back to whatever you were doing. Like imagine, oh, no. can you imagine? Can you imagine you're on Zuck and you get the cut screen? See <laughs> <laughs> your character dying in the background. Oh, dude, it'd <laughs> be amazing. It'd be so good. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I well, agree. Okay, it should I... be in spots that are. New, All right, right? This, this has been another conversation I've seen talked about. Should they announce, say, five minutes before, the breach is going to be at Catherby, or should they just not tell anyone and then the breach has spawned, but no one knows where it is? Just let it spawn. What do you think? But, but tell them when it spawns, I, I would say. It should be random. Maybe they tell, maybe they don't. Every well, once in a while. Maybe they should just give a hint, you know? 
Right. It depends what well, like, like, sh- like, sh- like a shooting yeah, star, do you think? Like in Mist yeah. Yeah, like well, What that, if you can yeah. get hit by the That's initial what? rift? Like if you're just sad. Like say, like I always thought it'd be funny when the shooting star happened. Like if you got hit by a shooting star, you just die, bro. Wait, 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 like wait, whatever the on. rift spawns it's on you, and you just get torn apart. Hold on. And there's no warning. If you die. At the start of this blog, didn't it say oh. something about the wizard's tower report disturbances in the abyss? Why don't they just make it so that yeah, they'll tell you? you, you no, no. Theory. Why don't they make it so if you want to know exactly when it happens, if you want to be the first person to know, you've got to have an account at the wizard's tower. That is like able He's to talk so to dumb, a wizard right? or like, like look at his orb be, or something. What you fucking right, awesome, right? wizard town? Be like yeah, nine hundred ults, bro. Nine hundred ults, bro. Just naked as shit, waiting. Everyone's in there like uh, fire waving <laughs> each other and throwing chinchompas. It'd be just like a battlegrounds, but you can click on a portal mm. and like see where the disturbance is. I don't know. While you're dying, as you're dying. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess one thing, good. if they if they don't if it, if they're not announced to everybody, it greatly benefits people who play as a group. So like clans, for example. Uh, that's a massive true. benefit there. They'll just have like a scout at every spawn, probably. Yeah. That'll be that's great. Now I yeah, just I mean, eventually myself. that's what you so Maybe they should say where it is. Yeah. 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 Fuck, man. But you know, the, and you can go kill scouts though. I guess I the amount of stuff hunting. that they could do with this concept and idea is like kind of unlimited. They could do so much with it. I guess the question is, do they have the engine that kind of allows for almost a, a you know uh, anywhere spawn? You know. It, it's I feel like, like they wouldn't. No. Yeah, I feel like because uh, otherwise, happen. like, what are you yeah. gonna you're gonna have like a nine by nine NPC trying to spawn into the Goblin Hut in Lumbridge or something? It's not gonna yeah, fail. That, yeah, they don't have that kind I'd of. I'd love to see it though. I'd love. So, to see so, it. so realistically, <laughs> I mean, so, it's gonna be a few hand point spot, hand pick spots, right? I would imagine so. Yeah, yeah. and it so, probably be like if they were smart, they would do it in spots that are like strategically not known, right? It hasn't been really figured out. Mm. that yeah that is fairly spacious i guess so right. if you guys didn't know um, this uh and i don't think it's like super common knowledge but there was a runescape free event a few years ago some one of you may have heard of this where they basically had like a zombie survival game uh in runescape and it was like uh, its own world i believe and effectively yeah. it would be like the world would have waves of zombies like hordes of them that would come their engine is way better though yeah but <laughs> yeah they, they tried to like completely sweep that under the carpet and everything because it was a disaster yeah, um and I, I, somebody was made it? somebody made like a documentary on it i can't remember who it was on youtube but <laughs> How it was bad very well was done it? well i don't oh, think they it? i i think they i don't even want to misspeak something bad happened it might have been with the prize money i can't remember but something happened that didn't go down ideal um but yeah there's a documentary on it and but the concept was really popular and the people of runescape 3 really liked it and it was like genuinely fun so, I mean, if they could nail that, they could just apply that to Deadman mode. That's kind of where I'm getting the idea of, like, a swarm yeah. of, like, hobgoblins, like, coming into fucking the Grand Exchange on, like, the low-tier worlds yeah. and stuff, you know? <laughs> like, That'd be mm. funny shit, man. <laughs> yeah, there's there's so many ways they could design this whole breach thing, you know? Like, does it have a timer? Does Is it, like, progressively get harder? Mm. You know, like, that mm. kind of thing, right? Like, what they, if they I, 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 I just had a thought? What if, what if it's like the uh, Maledictus <laughs> where you got a bonus if you were there for the kill? So that incentive that incentivizes it being active the entire month because then you'd right. run around with that bonus for the next hour or so. I'm so, glad you brought that'd, that'd Maledictus cool. up, by the way. One of the best bosses mm. ever made in this game. Just mm. saying. Right. Just saying. Oh, Top bro. tier, bro. Yeah. Like right yeah, I think, I think, I, I, th- I, I think it's I think it's been a, yeah it's really good addition to the rev caves and I'm, I'm, we're just building yeah, off right. that now in Deadman so that's why the breaches are so good. Oh, yeah. I don't Hopefully think Solo Solo doesn't understand the inside joke, but I always rinse the rev boss for being the most like <laughs> pea brain fucking boss in the whole game. And Dude, mints, it's mints, like it's best. a masterpiece. But it's just like so, it's I guess so bad. In terms of how it it enhances the PvP experience, it's good. It's a good design. Yeah. It's right. good. Maybe it's, yeah. good. Boss. it's good. It's like it is whatever, you know? magnificent, bro. It is the best update since loot keys, dude. I don't know why Rixie doesn't see it, but Solo does. So great minds do think alike. Uh, yeah, I think it, it does enhance the PvP experience, right? Because yeah. then it adds another layer to it, right? So hey, here's an idea. If we're just gonna be throwing shit on the wall and seeing what sticks, <laughs> why don't we just throw like an EP system into this? Like exactly no. the same as what it used to be. <laughs> like fucking. Uh, we don't need that shit to stick, bro. We don't need it to stick. Dude. Why not? That's been proven to be a shit show. People 
abuse that shit Bro, all the time. Rinks, he just wants to spawn in with his max gear and max cash. He's got a dragon full helm on that. the floor. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't want to get hit by, by a dark uh, axe, This you know, guy, man. Exiting a cave. I mean, I'm a, I, I was completely honest with my bias here, though. I'm not planning to PK. So, like, none yeah. of this shit really matters to me because I'm just going to be inside of one of the raids the entire time. But I do hope that yeah. it is good for everybody. I truly do. I want it to be good. I want it to happen what? again, you know? Yeah. yeah, same. I mean, my bias is I want it to be engaging enough to what have me playing the whole month. Honestly, is essentially man. what I want. Yeah. I and think I, they... and that, that aligns with trying to get as many people playing as possible. Yeah. Yeah, that's for the have. longest time, not for two days. I think you know, your Iron I... Man idea is like great, by the way. Yeah, I, I think that. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm about to start. I'm gonna great. start. I'm gonna start uh, typing that up in the PvP Discord. <laughs> yeah, go. I agree. I think it's like it doesn't hurt. You know, it just adds to it, and and there's no real negatives. You know, right? But I was thinking, hey man, if they're gonna pick something like one of the their ideas to pick on, they definitely need to just focus. They're all on that breach idea. Like, I honestly don't think they really need to focus on. What do you call it? like the like the freaking blighted shit or like the what is it uh what's the other one sigils. like uh, the sigils I feel like they don't re even I feel like if they get the breach thing right like the rewards from it and like how it's gonna spawn and and how it's gonna work with you know uh, against people and stuff like I feel like that will probably carry the the mode itself if they just do it right honestly yeah because if you combine I mean, that and all these other stuff it's gonna get so confusing you know like yeah they're yeah. gonna be chaos. That's, that's part of it, like, less confusion is always better in the game. Yeah. You should do some chopping, honestly. You should take what they yeah. have and go, alright, what don't we need? Like, what don't we need in here? Maybe sigils, chop. We literally yeah, yeah. don't need the combat relics. They can get rid of those. We can just have the, 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 yeah. the sigils, sorry. There you go. We can just have, like, the other, like, skilling ones, utility. Like, that would be great, you know? I mean, they yeah. could even have one which is like, oh, it has the salve effect where it does the same amount of damage to, like, the undead. But I will say one thing, like, from the ones that they have listed, uh, going off of the few that they have listed on here, like the Frawl, the Venge, it, they they do sound a, a lot more toned down than what they were previously. Because well, previously that's the utility items. Cards. That's not even a, a sigil. That's an item. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? No. I've, I've heard oh. there's a sigil, which is plus 30% of Dark Strikes, me. Oh, my God. So, bad. so bad. Just for I can't wait to see V2. But I still think it's the best clip on the internet. I still think it's like one of the best. I, I love it. I love I'm not it even so convinced, much. by the way. I was so pissed off at the time because I was absolutely. It's literally in the video. I was sure that you were watching my stream. I was like, there's no. I was like, the coincidence of you just being in that yeah. cave while I was doing that quest. I was just like, there's no but if way. he was, if he was watching, oh, right? And if you don't know, Rakesy was doing one small favor and Solo hit what a 105 on him and just one hit him when he walked into that cave. <laughs> it was like it was like a 150 or something. It was yeah, like his max as soon as he <laughs> enters the cave, Solo <laughs> one hits him, and apparently he wasn't on purpose. He was just trying to get somebody. But even if it was stream sniping, that just makes it even better from my viewpoint. No, I but it. I was like genuinely it, so at the time I I thought that you were stream sniping, and the thing that made it, I wouldn't usually care. But there was actually punishment, where it was like, if you died for lives. times... Yeah, you had free <laughs> lives, so it's like you'd lost your fucking account if you died for free times, and you just took one of mine. And I was just like, this guy, like, what the fuck? Wait, was that your third life? I think no. it was my, my first, I think. Oh, oh first, dude, yeah. that would have been the best. I gave you all your stuff back. This is a lot of crime, bro. I, I, I gave you you all your scarred shit. him mentally, bro. It's up there, man. He can't forget it. He needs a therapist to get rid of that fucking oh, anger for so long. I but couldn't yeah, believe it. Those combat relics were stupid. I, I <laughs> listen. I appreciate them trying new things, but like you know, it just wasn't good. It just wasn't. No, I, 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 I agree. Some, so some of my friends like are the type of giga sweaty people to have the max gear, and they just would de gear it into like a normal set because it's like, well, I can just die out of nowhere, so I don't want to PK my max anymore. Yeah, like people are doing stuff like that. So yeah, kind of busted. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed it because I got to see that clip. <laughs> How much? You, here's a here's a question. How much more OP do you think those crazy relics were compared to the new prayers that recently got scrapped? Oh, they were way more OP. Yeah, the, 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 the relics OP. were way more OP. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you know you, roughly percentage uh, wise? Hmm? Oh, like, I mean, it was like plus thirty percent damage and shit. Like that's <laughs> it, like the new the new prayers are like what like plus like four percent or something. Leaks shit. Basically, yeah, it was like leaks shit. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> 
Yeah. One, one, one thing we haven't mentioned, actually, and a reason why I don't think we particularly need any combat sigils, is that there have been so many items which have come into the game in the last two years. Lightbearer, yeah, Void so Waker, strong. all that sort of stuff. The, that is almost like an extra sigil is having to deal with all the new shit, like a Void Waker <laughs> and a Lightbearer. Because you've got to remember, everyone's got a VLS as well, so it's going to be very brutal already. On top, And if you add combat sigils on top of that, that is a lot. Yeah, no. You know they're gonna have them too. You know they're gonna be a little strong. Uh, (laughs) I got a feeling they might add the PvP armors through the uh, voids that open up, like through those bosses. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, like you know, Vestas, Statius. Why not? Chuck it in there. I don't. I I think they could. They should limit the PvP weapons to only coming through the breaches. So get rid of them, just dropping randomly in the wilderness. So that there's always like a point to go to them because everyone's always going to want VLSs, etc. Yeah, there should be something like super profound about them to do to want to do them. True, true. Yeah, just focus everything on the breach. I think that's like their number. That's their their. No, are you gonna are you gonna play? You can flick like five bosses at once. Uh, This is where it was street (laughs) man. They wanted. If it's successful, if they make an Iron Man mode, I bet you he will. And you should. <laughs> uh, it's just I'd rather play Leaks Four, you know. If I like, you I have play them all, dude. Right now. Play them all, dude. Yeah, what do you mean? I can't. I can't. Oh, man, I got stuff. I gotta do. I gotta got got edit he's got. He's always got stuff to do, bro. He's editing the the PVM Bible V. The PVM. Yeah, 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 the PVM for thought for source or some shit. Sorry, man. I gotta play the game. You know, like dude. You should just the PVM dictionary. It's just everything. Yeah. Well, we'll definitely. I'll definitely give it a go if they do it again though in the future. I don't think we go. He's never gonna play. He says this. I just have time. Nah, I ain't. Nah, <laughs> I, I, sure. I, I, like, I play one demo mode, right? When I had time, but yeah, it's just I feel like it's very limited this I year. I think it's because I when get... recommits, he fully commits. He doesn't yes. just like because like if I start pl- I'm playing a demo mode. Shit. I remember watching that. Yeah, yeah. No, no. it's like it's not like racy go, playing yeah. leagues, brother. This man goes hard. Yeah, it's like just see <laughs> see how you enjoy the vibe, and if it sucks, just dip out. I just know if if, if there's a next time, I'll. I'll play it. I still remember watching mm-hmm. Rakesy stream when he was killing rock crabs on leagues with like a dragon skimmy and a rune chain going, this game mode shit. He was just complaining <laughs> the whole time. He was fucking so angry. I was sitting here like, this man's yeah, giving was, up, was, dude. Where was that uh, goose, though? He was being a grandpa, man. Yeah, yeah. For sure. It's okay. Just, it's okay. Who wants to play a game mode where you don't do anything? He's just going in. He was going in for an hour. I was like, geez. Yeah. yeah I might, I might try to play. I might try to play the next one. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe uh, I have to beat you again, dude. Maybe I beat you yeah, again, sure. buddy. yeah. I mean, I guess we wrapped up the demo mode, and give it a good TLDR, you know, some potential. Yep. <laughs> I think we've covered yeah. pretty much all of it. Uh, for yeah. anyone watching, let us know what what do you guys think about this. I mean, yeah, there, which aspect's your favorite, you know, or not favorite? There's going to be a good portion of people smart. that are just really excited for demo mode to come out. Like, I, I think that a lot of PKers, for example, who just do one thousand one thousand people. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're yeah. just gonna be happy, man. Like two percent of us. If we had, like, so for example, if we had skill specs on here instead of solo mission, I guarantee you the guy would have just been fucking pumped the whole time. He, he would have just been like, "This is amazing! All of this." I'm, I'm amazing. excited, bro. Like, ba- barely anyone has any like the same level of incentive of Devon mode doing well. Like my channel, like I've built so much of Devon. I really, I really want it to do well. But my, 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 my passion is like. I'm like, oh shit! I feel like it's gonna go down the wrong route. Like, uh, there's like yeah, a little yeah. thing that we have to dodge here. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, Solo's uh, opinions matter quite a bit. You know, he he's quite he's quite the intel- in- intellect. So yeah. don't make his head. Any and I agree. Bigger, I, agree. Come on, I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's head, bro. I do agree with with, with a lot of. It. I mean, like, because to be fair, we, you know, we've disagreed on some things before, but yeah, I do agree with pretty much all right. his takes on this one, you know? Every time you have solo a compliment, his neck grows, and I can see it. Oh, yeah. So I want to eat every single thing. Look at that thing. It's just me. <laughs> you know, it's like two hours. Yeah, two hours for the next cover. But two hours full that extension, cover. bro. I was a little threatened there. I had to back up from my camera when you full extended, bro. <laughs> Oh, hey, goodness. listen, at the end of the day, I know that we've bashed this a fair bit, but I feel like we've given some reasons to the bashing and gave some constructive criticism. So, and also, yeah, this we always backed it up. We always backed yeah, it up. This isn't by any means the final announcement for demo mode. They are fully intending to put out a blog, and I think maybe even this week, 
going over some of the questions, concerns, and everything that people have been having. So, um, yeah, it'd be really interesting to see what happens with this and where it goes and what direction they choose to take. Um, I think the most exciting thing, personally, is definitely the voids opening up. I hope that they really go deep into that and they just make that really exciting for everybody. Dude, what if you can go into the void right when it opens and it takes you to another part <laughs> of the map? You're just like... Just like a brand up. new dungeon or something. Imagine that. Well, dude, it'd be sick with oh, new. I'm just yeah. thinking like fucking like Flaxfield <laughs> or something. Just fucking like Fonzie somewhere. <laughs> just like a random event. Right. Uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, if the, Once they give us the refine blog, if like they really make the the rift stuff exciting, I mean, I... I I probably don't. Oh have my a choice, god! Right? You know, oh shit! He's gonna play. play. Oh, Rise is logging in me. <laughs> Yo, name your price. Name your price. <laughs> we'll hit up the CEO. Make you a number, boy. Make this rift thing like hella good and like, hey man, I, if it's that good, like, I just want to play. You know, I like playing games. I I want to have fun, right? So it's got just make that rift thing like the best shit ever. And I, hell, man, I'm in. You know, if not, if it's like really just the same as this right and they are indecisive I, I, i'm out you know like Bro. no thanks mate thanks for, mint yeah, just said something it. really cool that i just like had a brainstorm about imagine if there was a physical rift and it was like okay so you got to take take care of all of the creatures that have come out of it and you go inside and then you go inside and then oh. it, be it becomes it's no longer you can attack people inside so it's like effectively safe but you've got to work with whoever's in there to like close up the dungeon and oh. like, there's a reward for doing it at the end. The that would make a prize. That would you be go like in there, insane just boost. one low level, just chill yeah. in there, just go here. <laughs> the red it would it would be so cool though because you you know while everyone's cleaning up the bosses outside, it's like there'd be PKs, and then you'd always go inside, close up whatever the activity is. You just be seeing everyone run inside because no one wants to fight anyone. Just all these people just yeah. be running I mean, right yeah, through. I'm in. I'm in, bro. That sounds, could, that sounds that would be crazy. I mean, I'm just know. saying, invest it all, make it as awesome and grand and ambitious as possible because I, I that's going to be such a selling point right there on its own yeah so i i hope they lean into it heavily right i yeah, think please. we've covered pretty much everything on dead my mode is there anything else any of you guys um, have to add i think we i think we did great bro drop a yeah. like boys if you want to see a round two when the next blog comes out you know let us know and uh, yeah. would you rather have this i know whether or not i'll play <laughs> if you care <laughs> <laughs> boom <laughs> If you care. All right. Yep. Bye. Oh, wait, we're <laughs> yeah, we're done. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs>